if we implode? <laughs> Negative five. Oh, it's coming. Hey, it's coming. Oh, Lord, it's coming. Wow. Oh. Yeah, there hey. it is. Hello, Holy everybody. Crap. And welcome Hello, to the Chet. first episode of Gobtober. Yeah. Uh, It'll be time, baby. We did it. We're Hello, here. chat. I was told I'm not allowed to look at you because there might be spoilers. That's yeah. true. Bye, chat. I can't, I can't look at you. Oh, bye, bye. Right. I'm sure you're I'm sorry, all beautiful. Chet. And thank you for all the wonderful compliments. Indeed. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> I just no. remembered I had to reset my Twitch password, and now I need to. <laughs> no oh, spoilers. Yeah, again. Yeah, bud. <laughs> no spoilers for this module, even though it was released in 1979. Wow. Oh, wow. Like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you could smoke in restaurants back then. You yeah, could. Yeah, you definitely could. That was and a recent airplane. development there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how recent? Like then. the last 10 years? Yeah. That's, really? Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm it depends on your state. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some states were earlier. But hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> we're, hello. We're, for those of you who aren't in the know, and if you're not, hi. <laughs> this might be quite a shock for you. We're oh. we're, <laughs> we're playing through the White Plume Mountain module uh, with an all goblinoid party. Goblins! Oh, Doing the goblins. Goblin. Ooh, goblins. It's a shame that Monty can not be here with her cats. Damn sure. I think Goblin oh. is the official mascot of this campaign though, right? Yeah, she's celebrating Gobtober with the goblin. The one and only. Indeed. Oh, gosh. Indeed. The real life goblin. The real life goblin. And IRL. Hello, spider. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! The Harp! You and I could rule this city. Or we could just fight to the death. Or both. Or both. Yeah. We've got another job coming. Oh, oh if, if, if anybody here knows sleep, are they required to say sleep when uh, they cast it now? Yeah, I don't I think, think anyone so. knows it. Yeah, I don't think I have we that. Don't, we don't have a... Si you know, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Don't want to spoil it. Don't, <laughs> don't. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. But oh, for now, Lordy. let's go down the horn and introduce ourselves before we introduce our characters. Uh, oh. Caitlin, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Ah, Hi, I'm Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Um... I am a voice actress. You can hear me in things like Little Witch Academia and Monster Hunter Rise and recently on Kageki Shoujo over on Funimation. I'm working on that show and you should watch it. Uh, God, I don't even know what else there is. I do stuff sometimes. <laughs> internet it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do an internet. Here first, folks. Internet it. Y'all have Google. Y'all have Google. <laughs> internet it. Y'all have internet phones, it. right? <laughs> Don't you guys have phones? Oh god. Uh, shut up, please. Go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gaijin, where can they find you and what are oh, you? Oh no, to? not me. Uh yeah. okay. You can find me literally anywhere uh as Gaijin Goomba, sometimes with an H, uh sometimes not, like over on Twitch. Uh I've been playing Skulls of the Shogun. I suck at tactical games, but I'm actually pretty okay at that one. Uh I don't know if I'm going to be beating that on stream or not. But in bigger news, I am working on a 40-minute video just pouring my heart out talking about one of my favorite movies of all time, The Last Samurai. And no, I'm not going to be talking about that per se. I'll be talking about the one thing that that movie does really well that no one's talked about. And that is a documentary on what to expect when folks from Japan and the U.S. interact for the first time. It really is a play-by-play. -play. Uh... So if you have any interest in that particular topic, that video will be going out for patrons tomorrow, everyone else on Friday, I do believe. Uh, other than that, I'm still working on the 5th Ed Oni race. Everything is stat blocked. I just need to find artists and I need to write the research fluff and that will be all done. And then on uh, my main channel, uh, I am working on, <laughs> I'm working on a cultural analysis of Shuten, jo Shuten Doji uh, from Fate. 
it's Good gonna be luck. fun trying not to <laughs> trying not to get demonetized. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. How but, about that? <laughs> but but it's a really fun topic. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy it because ever since I did uh Tamo no Mai, I've had more people asking if I were if I was gonna do more characters from uh uh fate. And uh yeah, it's there's a lot to pull from. Hell yeah. Excellent. Woo. Lenny Bator, what are you up to and where can they find you? Well, me, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator, uh, except on Instagram where it's Lan1Gram. Uh, currently, my brother and sister-in-law are in town, so I'm hanging out with them, but I will be jumping in to play some Alan Wake, probably Ooh. starting on Sunday. Uh, just mm. to, I, I, I was really digging on Control, and they just released the remaster of Alan Wake, so hey, why the hell not? It's a, it's a spooky month for a spooky game. Thought I'd do some of that. I've, uh, I've seen so many people play that game. It's a it's, good one. It, yeah, and like the remaster just came out, so I'm like, hey, you know, if there's any time where I actually would jump in to play it, why the hell not? Yeah. Uh, beyond that, uh, if you're not all role played out over here on this channel on Mondays, I roll a campaign I like to call The Ties That Bind over on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Connor and Caitlin both joined me along with our good buddy Shadow yeah, Dancer yeah, Bob. Yeah. In a, in a bit of a pickle right now as they're trapped in a uh, alternate timeline future or <laughs> random bit of a future pickle where they uh, are. What? A pickle. I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry. I feel like you're minimizing our experience right now. <laughs> Look, just because you're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with uh, Connor's character's now full-grown son, it's just, it's, it's huh. a strange it's situation. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it it happens sometimes, man. You just gotta... they they like, grow up so fast these days. I mean, in one episode, I had the like entire arc of a soap opera happen. So mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's time. Just feel, feel free to pop by if you want to catch it. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> another tabletop thing recently resurfaced. TFS at the table is back on twitchtv slash stream four star oh, yeah. Tuesdays at five o'clock Central Time. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, look, you got you got D and D all week long if you're really up for it. So here you go. Oh yeah, that's Places that's me though. Look. Excellent, Mark Allen Jr. Where can we find you, and what are you up to? You can find me at Mark Allen Jr. on Twitter, here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Light. Uh, if you don't know me. Uh, I'm a voice actor. You can hear me in such things as Dr. Stone, uh, The Day I Became a God, and currently airing on Funimation, Remain. I play Jojo Jima. There are two episodes available in English right now, and I believe the third one comes out this weekend. So check that out. Uh, streams are going to get a little weird the next couple of weeks. Um, my living situation may be jumbling around just a wee bit. Um, and of course, this coincides with the release of Pokemon Celebrations and, you know, me and my Pokemon cards. And so, yeah, we're, it's going to be fun. We're going to figure it out. Stuff will happen when it happens. I don't know when that will be. Check the Twitters. I'll let you guys know. Other than that, yeah, that's me. Alrighty. And last but certainly not least, Therapod Art, where can they find you? <clears throat> They can find me at twitter.com uh, therapod underscore art where they can find me spilling Baja Blast all over the sidewalk. Oh my um, god. Blasphemy. Can't can't just talking to me about that. <laughs> Baja Blasphemy, am I right? <laughs> Mon yeah. Exactly. Monty sent me a message about that. Yep. I hope you Listen. roll well tonight. Can, can, oh, I can, can I just say that was my second take? I, I wasted two sodas. Why but anyway, the fuck you, did you do that? Because you're a cause, monster. Because it, right it was funny. Because it was funny. Anyway, you, was you, you can find me over on Twitter where I post art and soda all over the sidewalk. You can also find me at um, twitch.tv Therapod Art where I stream my process of art and stuff. And and yeah, that's pretty much all of where you can find me. If you need if you need a commission, you can find my email on my Twitter. If you, if you want me to draw shit, just just fucking email me. I'll do it. I'll draw your D and D character. I'll draw your furry persona. Whatever the fuck. He'll fucking do it. I'll do, I'll do it. I'll don't test him. I'll I'll do it for the right amount of cash. 
I just tattled on you to Monty. I hope you know. Yeah, she got no morals and nothing she to lose. It. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, and of course, I, on the air. it's like it's like that Fairly Odd Parents episode. <laughs> it's Which like one? you're my new best friend, Rip. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I I did it. I did it for one reason and one reason alone, because it was funny. Yeah, oh. yeah. I understand that. I, I can get behind that logic. H. I believe that when you laugh at other people's pain, that makes you a sociopath. No, that so much yeah. humor, I mean, Connor. The mm -hmm. Germans have a word for it. So, so. much humor. Uh, yeah, so much humor, definitely. <laughs> uh, and speaking of humor, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesdays, I'm playing uh, tabletop games with my buddies, Hey Mr. Rabbit and Count Widget, and sometimes Probate shows up. Uh... Friday is Friday Fun House, where I play a bunch of fun party games with my friends, usually some Jackbox, Guilty Gear, Among Us, Gang Beasts, stuff like that. Saturdays before Ravenloft this month, I'll be playing through Yakuza 5 Remaster. Sundays, I am playing Wildermyth. A uh, fantastic game. And another fantastic game I'd like to tell you about is Dead House Sonata. Of course, if you're if you're familiar with the other games I'm a part of, you'll know that I shell this thing all the time. Uh, and it's because it is a spiritual successor to my favorite game series, Legacy of Cain. Uh, they got a bunch of new information out about it after this huge, long series of lore deep dives. Go check it out on their YouTube channel uh, or their Twitch at twitch.tv slash deadhousesonata. Uh, and also follow the link in the chat if you want to purchase yourself a Founders Pack get access to the first or second age so that your story can matter in the greater story of Dead House Sonata. And also check out oh. my DMs Guild where I am releasing 5th edition subclasses including the Accursed Fighter. Uh, and also look out this month for the Fanged King Warlock, a vampire themed warlock with a bunch of fun flavorful abilities. Ooh. Uh, and with that out of the way, I would like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening, and I am currently oh. using a set. Not yet, Feral. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Why? So yeah, ready. Got a little too excited. So ready. Just oh, wait oh. until he rolls without me asking him to. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. Can I roll a perception check? Sure. <laughs> I guess. This episode is sponsored by Roll20. Not Roll20. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, they don't have sponsors. You're funny. Wow. Connor. You That's fucked me up I, so hard. I, 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 I can't believe This episode is not sponsored by Roll20. Shut up! This episode is not sponsored by Roll20. This episode is not sponsored by Roll20. I'm going to fucking mute all of you. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Die Hard Dice. That's right, Die Hard Dice, where you can grab yourself a bunch of different dice of different sizes, shapes, and colors, as well as dice and dice accessories. Roll20 just had to get one in, didn't they? And just had to get one in. Sure, buddy. Oh, my God. Well, welcome I, I, back, buddy. I try to get out. And it pulls me back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find all sorts of dice and dice accessories over at dieharddice.com, which okay. the stream okay. is sponsored by. Oh, you can do this with them. Gosh, oh, God. Oh, God. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, oh. I shouldn't have. Did you not learn from Monty this past I weekend? wanted to do it. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. There, we can't all be Monty, okay? I've Sarah just really been spilling. I've been spilling today. everything today. Uh. And speaking of virtual tabletops, uh, the virtual tabletop that we will be using this evening uh, is Astral Tabletop that you might have noticed in the announcement uh, announcement video for this very campaign. Uh, Astral Tabletop was kind enough to lend us a couple of platinum accounts for us to fool around with their full suite of 
different, unique, and very cool things. Like, I've been messing around with this for months, and uh, there is just a whole host of different things you could do with actual tabletop. If you're at all interested in checking it out, it is free to use, uh, but you can purchase uh, a subscription account. We currently have a platinum account that we're fooling around with. That's the highest grade, so we have the the whole enchilada here of things we can work out with. Uh, and I, hopefully we can show off some of the cool, unique things that uh, Astral Tabletop has to offer. A slate uh, of services. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, we'll also be utilizing... Uh... Oh god, now I'm... I'm... I get flustered and forget things. We're also nice utilizing D and D Beyond uh, for our character sheets on here. Uh, Astral Tabletop has uh, sort of a collaboration going with a program called Beyond Twenty that lets you utilize your D and D Beyond character sheets in Astral Tabletop. And that, if you don't think that is the coolest shit, then get out of here. But oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back. He didn't uh, I, mean. I'm, I mean, stay. But <laughs> have your own no, opinions, don't... maybe. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, stay. Here, but keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, other than that, for this game, we are using uh, a module, as I said earlier in uh, in the stream. We'll be using White Plume Mountain from the Tales of the Yawning mm -hmm. Portal. Uh, with that being the case, I don't want to see anybody spoiling any parts of this adventure in chat. If you do, you will be immediately timed out. No we warnings. We will kill you. We won't do that. <laughs> we will oh, just you bring you out in our Twitch bad. chat. And because we're already die. saying it right now, for, I have for, already left will, the chat so I can avoid spoilers. Because You will be hunted down be by the fiercest of goblins. Somebody's going to try it, and I don't want to be spoiled. Well, uh, with with all of my flubbing my intro out of the way, uh, <laughs> it's time to read off some bits and subs from the wonderful community here. Wee! Yeah! Ben the Bio Boy, thank you for the prime oh. sub. That was fun to say. Yeah. Therapod Art, thank you for the 18 months. Oh. Yeah, it's and been a while. An acceptable name, thank you for the 18 months. Shadow Atronach, thank you for the six months. Olin Dawes, thank you for the 13 months. 13 months for Gobtober, boys. Bad Biff, 666, thank you for the 15 <laughs> months of Prime Subage. Free Haircut and Lobotomy, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. <laughs> uh, Tix Dixel, thank you for the 10 months. 10 months on Twitch and still going. Can't wait for Gobtober. Ew. Blackfoot Fair, well, it's thank here. you for the 500 bits, Gobtober time. White Fang 19, eight, or 9018, thank you for the 17 months of Prime Subage. It's time for some goblins. Jester Skeleton, it's thank you for the- time. <laughs> it's time for some goblins. <laughs> what Jester time Skeleton, thank you for the 100 bits. My first day off for a live session in weeks and it's goblins, fuck yeah. Wee. Jinty13, thank you for the 100 bits. Have a great Gobtober. Corin Solist, thank you for the 12 months. I think it's the first time I got his name right. Wow. In the first try. 12 months. Oh, Woo! Got a crested gecko jumping between my hands. <gasps> and she seems to love my monitors. Aww. I, I love cresties. Indeed. Uh, Mexabear, thank you for the six months. Oh my gobless, it's time. Da Spoonman, thank you for the 11 months. Gobtober time, baby! Free Shivakadu, thank you for the two months up, or 15 months up prime subage. Goblins! Tazuto, oh. thank you for the eight months. Thanks to Probably Not an Air for my gift sub. Nice. Afro Blade Master, thank you for the 500 bits. Vardix X, or Vardix S, thank you for the five subs given to the community. <clears throat> Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Why was the ghost made the lead cheerleader at school? Because they were always so spirited. 
Approved. <laughs> I'm glad the puns are following me. Ha. Approved. Mm. Gauze21, thank you for the 100 bits. Here's my hit. Take a goblin with a gun. Indeed. Hall oh, Bomb, thank you. thank you for the prime sub. Drago soon. thank you for the 12 months. Nom Nom Goblin, thank you for the 190 bits. GW may have broken a tradition, but some of us see this as an absolute win. Indeed. Dark Star Dara, thank you for the 100 bits. Gobtober Hype, thanks to all y'all in the Unexpectables crew for inspiring me to start DMing for my Starfinder group. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Love Starfinder. Always, always wanted to play Starfinder. Mm, Never had a chance. Mm. <laughs> Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. Here we go, back, because it's easier to watch this on Wednesdays now. Zinlita, thank you for the 300 bits. The the Frightachondria is the haunted house of the cell. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Frightachondria? Oh, oh my god. That's, wow. that's gold. Yeah, that is gold. I do right like now. it. But this is Frightachondria. This isn't a spooky one, probably. Do they, I don't they do they you. reproduce by phytosis? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. You are you're you're so fired. <laughs> I mean it's too late. We've we're already here. Oh. We are already here. Zenlita yeah. Thank you for the three hundred bits. Applied Thanology, thank you for the one hundred bits. Take my bits. Drag soon, thank you for the twenty bits. Gob 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 gob. War Drone, thank you for the 18 months. Vardix S, thank you for the additional five subs gifted to the community. Great Otaku Bomb, thank you for the 12 months. Thanks to Probably Not a Mayor for my gift sub. Gamma Leo, thank you for the 18 months. DRK Ganon, thank you for the 18 months of Prime subage. Happy Gobtober, everyone. Good luck tonight. Ben oh. the Bio Boy, thank you for the 100 bits. First time catching guys live. Ooh, well, welcome. Ooh. Dang. Perfect time to hop What a way. On. Yeah, what a way to start. <laughs> Pixel Bell, thank you for the 30 bits. Gobtober begins. Also, it'll be my birthday on the 10th. Ooh, happy early birthday. Finally, happy old enough to drink. Definitely going to celebrate with a few good cocktails. Ooh. Nice. Have fun. Hydrate. Hydrate, drink, remember? Drink responsibly. Yeah. Yes. Great Otaku Bomb, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Happy <laughs> Gobtober. Wow. Thank Whoa. you so much for those 10,000 bits. Fantastic Callum. Oh, getting butterflies in my stomach as we get closer into the uh, end of these bits here. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Let's hope the new system isn't even meaner than Roll20. I'd hate to see the party wipe session one. Oh, don't worry. I'm not rolling at all. I'm rolling with my no, just, die hard dice. Just me. Wahoo. Just Mark. <laughs> uh, just missed him. Thank you for the two months. Hello. Hi. Bud the Spud, thank you for the 18 months. Free haircut and lobotomy. Thank you for the 1,050 bits. Connor saying roll 20 was like calling out the wrong name in the throes of passion. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly what you did. And, yeah, with, with like a toxic X too. Not, oh yeah, not yeah. like make it worse. Not, not like an X that's like the one that got away. It's literally like this is the worst person you could have dated and you called them you called uh, me that, them. That's that's oh, precisely man. what happened though. <laughs> <laughs> God, I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> what, Wolf fight the wrong oh, name? Yeah, I got the wrong <laughs> Wow. Either that or either that or forgetting names entirely. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay, Volk... Josh. We forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. Volk five five one. Thank you for the one bit. Things that Mr. Welch can't do in an RPG anymore. One one six nine or one one nine six. Even if we cleared it out, we can't turn White Plume Mountain into a theme park. <laughs> Not no, yet. but it'd be yeah, so not, cool. Not with that we just, attitude. We can. We just need a few flags. Give it enough time. Just need a few flags. That's all. Few uh, flags. Couple hundred pounds of black powder. Just. Fortron, thank you for the five subs. Gifted to the community. Ayama Day, Paladin Chris, thank you for the gifted sub. Ooh. Mighty Aj, thank you for the 12 months. 12 months, wow, a year and beyond of support for you and you wonderful people. That Aww. string fellow, thank you for the 10 months. Yay, goblins. Magic Ninjago, Ooh. 10 years of spinjitsu. Thank you for the 100 bits. Made it to the stream, ready to see some gobos. 
Dice Ruler, thank you for the gifted sub. Grimalus Prime, thank you for the 250 bits. And you get a happy birthday uh, spec for my leopard gecko who turned 16 this week. Oh my goodness. Oh dang. Oh, oh, that's happy birthday. Uh, I don't know. That is old. That's uh, they can vote. Happy birthday spec. Happy it's... birthday spec. Say happy birthday. Spec. 16 happy birthday, is up there. Little reptile baby. A healthy leopard gecko can get to like 20, but 16 oh. is up there. Mm -hmm. Ren Po, thank you for the 100 bits. You're all goblins? I know, I'm, you know, I'm a bit of a goblin myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do so you do, was, fellow goblin? So is my wife. I'm a bit of a goblin. Oh. Spider-Man! Thank you for the 100 bits. Come on, goblin artificer. Oh, we'll find out soon. Those butterflies You'll in my see. stomach are growing. <laughs> a point oh, of yeah. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. I know, I'm just, I'm excited to get into it. I'm really, I'm really excited, honestly. Thank you for the 1,000 bits applied phenology. Thanks to you guys, I finally bought a ton of diehard dice. It is the fate of all DMs to become dice goblins. Arukana, yeah. thank you for the one or the, the raid of the party of ten. Warfe, thank Hello. you for the 18 months. Great Otaku Bomb, thank you for the 1,000 bits. These bits are from Bottles, my Ooh. Goblin Ranger, who will not be appearing this month as my October campaign died a thousand deaths. Have fun with the goblins, guys. Oh. Oh, they're not appearing in this campaign. In memoriam. Uh, sorry to hear that. I make things up. Thank you for the 18 months. Thanks for all you guys do. And thank you for sticking around. The Six Eyes, thank you for the two months of Prime Subage. Glad you glad to finally catch a show live. And finally, Bernie Cinders with the 18 months. Thank you so much. Bernie Cinders. I love it. It's a good name. <laughs> and <laughs> now name. and now with that finally squared away. It's time. I can take you guys over oh. Never mind. <sighs> to our map here. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Mom, he said a swear. Did <laughs> say a swear. Poopy. Shut up. Watch your dollar in mouth. He heck. <clears throat> so. Oh, thank goodness. I thought my internet cut out when it got quiet. No. <laughs> I was like, no, He's no, 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 no. Oh. <clears throat> so. Not now. We go now to the land of Faerun. As a chill autumn wind blows through the Sword Coast and into the little fishing town of Port Last. Three shrouded figures enter the Jack and Saber. A decidedly average tavern in all respects, from its smoke-filled air, to its low-beamed dark tap room, to its furniture that's seen better days, and its patrons that have also seen better days. However, the Jack and Saber tonight was surprisingly empty, save for the three individuals who had just walked in, sat down, ordered eight plates of food and ale to be distributed to five empty seats across from them. They wait and eat for maybe ten minutes before the sound of the tavern door opening <laughs> snaps everyone's head to attention. Anura, would you like to describe yourself? Sure. So, standing fairly high for a goblin, um, three foot eleven, Anura is a light green goblin with light brown hair formed into natural dreadlocks. On her jolly looking face, she has dark green freckles and bright purple and blue eyes. She is covered in leather armor made from various swamp creatures such as alligators, snakes, muskrats, etc. Anura carries a hefty wooden stone club and inside a pouch on her side pokes out the head of a frog, her companion Gherkin the bullfrog, ever vigilant and ever watching. That, that's Anura. Okay. Uh, you appear to be the first to have made it. Mm. What do I... What do I see about the tavern? Just those you three figures? You see a almost completely empty tavern, save for one table in the middle uh, with three individuals lit by candlelight. 
uh, each of them with hoods and shrouds over them that is obscuring most of their form. There appears to mm-hmm. be a plate full of food. And a mug of ale. Over at where the figures are? Yes. There appear mm-hmm. to be five set out. The center mm-hmm. figure motions for you to come forward. Come. Oh. I promised you food, didn't I? Oh, it's you! <laughs> she she waddles over. Just like, just grabs a chair and just immediately points at the food. You gonna eat that? We have our own plates. Please, oh. sit anywhere. She, she just grabs a seat and just kind of awkwardly looks around. Wait, waiting for the others. Uh, and as you sit down and you may choose to start eating or not, the door once again, bell rings on the door. Tonk. Would you like to describe yourself? Yes. So as the door opens, uh, a mass of fur ducks through the doorway as this seven foot one bugbear covered in dark brown fur with a thin strip of beige across their chest, wearing a gi and a slightly wider fur on their uh, forearm and right hand uh, in a in some kind of a pattern but it's hard to see uh, slowly walks in uh, a long scar trails across their face and exposes some of their teeth uh, from the lip missing uh, with glowing yellow eyes they scan the room notice Anura. And over here, with, over here, over here. <laughs> like, just super enthusiastic. With with not much emotion, Tonk scans the bar after looking at Anura, nods ahead, and slowly walks over to Anura and sits down. Welcome. Believe Hello. You said your, believe you said your name was Tonk. Tonk, yes. Very good. Can I eat this? Of course. It is for you, after all. Gwince at him a little bit, looks around the room again, really suspiciously, super slowly starts eating while watching the room. Okay. As you take a bite of some sausage or whatnot... The bell on the door rings once more. Griggle, would you like to describe yourself? You see a fairly short goblin, probably three, two, three, three, something along those lines, pretty short. Much of him is obscured by a very large tattered cloak. There's patches, uh, cuts in the fabric here and there. Though what little you do see Uh, you see that unlike many other goblins, Griggle's skin is very, very pale, a little bit saggy in places, kind of a stumpy nose, not a a good disposition on this lad. Uh, Though the only other two things you notice is that there is a small ornate skull around where the cloak will come together. And as that cloak swishes as he walks you can just see what looks to be a vertebra coiled at his hip. Well, I say this is a place then. Now, where's that, where's that Cypress kid? Cypress, are you here? I am here. The middle figure speaks up and he waves. Did you bring, did you bring, he's going to walk over. Did you bring the brandy? (laughs) As a matter of fact, and he uh, reaches towards his belt, and he unlatches a fine, ornate decanter of a sort of reddish-brown liquid. And he... And he sort of pours you a glass 
uh, he slides it over to the taller figure next to him, and they touch the glass, and you hear shh, like the like an icy breeze briefly come over the glass. And then he slides Ooh. it back over to you, next to your mug of ale, of course. Uh, Gregor will very... A, a, a slight sneer will start to snake up his cheek, exposing a few sharpened teeth as he goes to partake in this food. Mm -hmm. And as you partake, it's just your standard bar fare, sausage, cheeses, stuff like that. The brandy, however, has such a richness to it if you do partake of it oh it, yes you can tell immediately that this is very fine stuff it has the taste of flowers and fresh dried fruit with a little zest of citrus there at the end this is Griggle fine will, fine alcohol Griggle will try to spin the glass poorly <laughs> <laughs> The, the, you'll, you'll hear a little from the, from the taller figure. Uh, Griggle, and... Griggle, <laughs> Griggle just shoot, just, just a, just a very, very angry, stern, deathly stare right back at him. The Cypherius will raise a hand and just sort of pad their shoulder. Easy. This one's dangerous. Griggle smile at that and just partake. Another ring of the door. <laughs> Estic, would you like to describe yourself? Estic is a hobgoblin of relatively standard fare. He stands just shy of six feet tall about 200 pounds, and is well-toned. Currently, he is not donning his armor. However, uh, his uh, short buzz hawk, all black in color, is swept back over his head. And he looks around the bar with two black eyes, black all the way to the sclera. As a look of disappointment kind of comes over his face, where the heck's the party? Uh, Anura jumps up with a mouthful of food, just waving. No, I see you. Where's the party? This Unk place is points lame. at the food. You're looking oh, at it. Hey. And he's going to kind of hustle over after you point to the food. Uh, he's going to point to one of the plates and look at uh, just the closest guy. You're going to eat that? By all means, it is yours. And he basically slams his head into the plate and starts eating off. <laughs> oh my god. Good. The shorter individual sort of looks up to Cypherius uh, and he says, Are you sure about this? And he nods. And uh, finally... Estic will pause for a moment in his eating, kind of sniffing the air for a little bit, and he's going to look over at Griggle. Are you drinking perfume? I I don't think I want to dignify that with a response. Mm -hmm. All right. And he goes back to eating. And as you go back to eating with your face pressed clean up against the wood of this plate, uh, finally, fashionably late, Ritzel Vixelplex, would you like to describe yourself? Walking in as if he's never belonged anywhere more in his entire life stands a very, quote, fancily dressed goblin wearing fine clothing that is very mismatched, very patchy, uh, nice fine top hat with the top just barely hanging on by a few threads, standing at a healthy 3-7. He uh, brushes a few strands of wispy hair out of his face, uh, off of his mostly shattered monocle that sits with just a single shard uh, kind of going up from like the bottom in a pyramid fashion towards the center with a grin from ear to ear and apple green skin. He grins about the room. Ah, there's a bunch of friendly faces now, isn't it? 
He taps his cane to the floor and starts marching over to the table. Ah, yes. Our thief. Now, sir, call me a thief. I'm but a fine gentleman, I is. A businessman at heart. I was what she is called a getter. You see, you want something, I'll get it for you. As long as the price is right. He gives him a wink and a smile, sits down at the table, and uh, picks up silverware and starts eating. Who's that brandy? Is that for everybody? Go get me a glass. Gurgle just tries to, like, 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 freaking Gollum holding the ring, just holds it to his <laughs> chest. <laughs> now, don't be stingy there. We some friends, isn't it? Hmm. I get her. Good. Aye, that is precisely... I get her, sir. Precisely why we've hired you all. I hope you don't like mind that. if I speak to you while you're eating about this matter and precisely what sort of job you'll be going on. It's all civilized like who ain't had no conversation over supper before. Mm. And I believe it would be terribly rude of us if we didn't all introduce ourselves and... Uh, the man in the middle reaches up and he pulls back his hood. Uh, and you see the, to you, familiar sight of one Cypherius Keystone, a sort of middle-aged but handsome man with short, slicked back, ashy blonde hair, um, a tight goatee around his mouth, and noticeably he's got these... Bright brown, almost red eyes. Hmm. They are very striking. As you know, I am Cytherius Keystone, and as you've deduced, I am a noble of Neverwinter. Congratulations! And then this Thanks. must be quite the job then. Indeed, it will be quite the job. And he motions to the uh, taller woman next to him as she pulls back her similar-looking hood. Uh, she reveals herself to be a very beautiful woman. Uh, pale skin and sort of dark lips. Uh, her long ears uh, give way to her draping black hair. I suppose I should introduce myself as well. I am Marisara Winterwhite of New Sharandar. Yeah, what missed. happened to the old one? It's a long story, and not relevant to why we are here. Okay. She looks over to the third individual, who's much shorter than uh, the rest of them, uh, lifts up their cowl as well. Not, not you. I'm eating you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Alexa wanted to play, but no. Oh, Sorry, uh -oh. Alexa. Uh -oh. Wait, it's not named Alexa? No. Uh, okay. This this third person uh, lifts their cow and pulls it back. To reveal a, a dwarf with sort of a light brownish tinted skin and sort of starting to silver over uh, chocolate brown hair who has a long scar going down the side of his eye. Uh, pleasure to meet you as well. Uh, this is uh, a bit unorthodox for me, so... Uh, I suppose I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Gundren Rockseeker. Uh, 
My problem, where are my manners? Ritzel Vixel, Flix, at your service. Ah, uh, pleasure. And he uh, reaches out and he uh, grabs your hand and his hand, uh, har har, dwarfs yours. Yep. <laughs> and he gives you a, I, I, a vigorous businessman's handshake. I, I, I shake it as firmly as my little goblin body can. Ah. Well. Ah. Uh. Suppose you're wondering why you're here. Uh, suffice to say, we are all victims of a crime. Uh, we've had some very important things stolen from all of us. Uh, Marisara speaks up. Indeed, very important and powerful artifacts were stolen. And... Were it not their prerogative, I wouldn't have believed by who. Cypherius. Griggle. Hmm? <clears throat> I was going to say, Griggle Cox, a huge eyebrow hearing powerful artifact. Once, uh, once he hears the word artifact, Ritzel's hand kind of like gingerly drifts away from his gold pouch and kind of like breathes a small sigh of relief to himself. They're not after my gold, thank God. Um, <laughs> as, as soon as they say uh, crime, that like a crime had been committed, Tonk like gets really nervous, stops eating, and really pays attention. Where where did these artifacts come from? Where were they stolen from? They were stolen from each of us sitting here. One was stolen from me. One was stolen from Marisara. And one was stolen from Gundren. What, like um, while you were standing there, some dude just walked up and stole your shit? No. I imagine they would have been highly secured, were they not? They were, which is why this breach is so alarming. Guess We've questioned our... We've questioned our servants. We've even searched our local thieves' guild for any signs of these artifacts that have gone missing. And nothing has turned up save for this that each of us received. And he pulls out a small piece of paper and he unfurls it. Are we going Is to it smash? A calling card of sorts. Not quite. More like a hint. This is a game. Hmm. I'm sneezing over there. Yeah, sorry. It's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> it was very Violence. Bad. Also, just real quick, uh, is music supposed to be playing? Uh, there's ambience playing. I hear crickets. I, I can play some. Hear I can hear anything. I, I can hear stuff. Yeah, I hear crickets. I may need to oh. leave and come back. There we go. Uh, I'll refresh. Mm. Oh. Hmm. These quiet crickets, if that helps. <laughs> they they are very polite. A good night for conversation. Hmm. Or uh, they read anything, Tonk gets up. And like puts a hand up in front of them, in front of a uh, uh oh gosh. Cypherius. <laughs> Cypherius. <laughs> Looks him very sternly in the eye. I did not steal them. They uh, sort of look, suspect look, that. They sort of look between each other. He raises an eyebrow. I believe you. Unk relaxes and starts to listen again. <laughs> <clears throat> we each received one of these. A poem of sorts. A clue to the whereabouts of our thief. And should it be true, uh, I could scarcely believe it, but... Let me just read what? it out to you. <clears throat> it reads... Search ye far, or search ye near, you'll find no trace of the three. Unless you follow instructions clear, 
for the weapons abide with me. North, past forest, farm, and furrow, you must go to the feathered mound. Then down away from the sun you'll burrow. Forget life, forget life, forget sound. To rescue Wave you must do battle with the beast in the boiling bubble. Cross caverns vast where chain links rattle, lies whelm past water spouts double. Black razor yet remains to be won underneath inverted ziggurat. That garnered think not that you're done, for now you'll find you are caught. I care not former owners brave what heroes you seek to hire. Though mighty, I'll make each one my slave or send him to the fire. Somebody had a lot of time on their hands. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I stopped listening like halfway through. You don't know the <sighs> half of it. And here's I, that. Here's that for you all. Oh, please. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Panic. <laughs> Anora Anora speaks up. It's just like I thought that poem was very pretty. Hmm. Honk mm. nods sagely. <laughs> pretty as the one could muster. Tell me, know you the legend of Caraptus? What would we roll for that? Uh, history roll check. history checks. Here we okay. go. That's a six from Ritzel Vixelplex. That is a sixteen from Griggle. I ain't the most studious sort. Oh, jeez. That's 20. a two from Estic. Ooh. 24 20 from Tonk. And a 19 for Anura. Anura and Tonk have been sharing tips. Ah, they really the have. Ham. Yeah, we're, we're buddies. Where are the spark notes, guys? I need those. <laughs> uh, oh, God, it's a group project. So, um, Griggle, you've heard the name before, but you don't know very much about them. You know that their name is often spoken in in curses and stuff mm. like that. Like, uh, oh, by Bruno Caraptus. Da, da, da. And what um, was the name of it? Caraptus. K-E-R-A-P-T-I-S. Interesting. Le Legend of? Uh, that's, he just said, know you the legend of Karaptus. Okay. Um, and Tonk and Anura, um, Tonk, you know that Karaptus was a wizard that lived a long, long time ago and basically just subjugated everything in his sight. He was an awful ruler uh, by all means, but he had a strange way about him that made sort of the more monstrous folk uh, bend to his will. And Anura, you know that he was a, a an evil wizard. Mm -hmm. And Anura kind of shrinks at the name, just like Ugh. evil voodoo. Mm -mm. I once heard of a man who ate a cactus. If that helps, it does not. Let me know if it ever does. I can introduce you. <laughs> anyway, so what's the point going on here? Well. Caraptus lived almost 1,300 years before the present day. Well over a millennium ago, the wizard Caraptus rose to power in the valleys of the northern mountains bringing the local warlords under his thumb with gruesome threats. Threats that were fulfilled just often enough to keep the leaders in line. Under Caraptus's overlordship, the influx of rapacious monsters and raids from the wild mountains decreased markedly and dwindled, then almost stopped. Seeing this, the populace did not put up much resistance to paying the wizards heavy taxes and tithes, especially when stories were circulated of what happened when those who bought to those who balked 
any nobles who protested disappeared in the night and were replaced the next day by their line of secession. It was usually more inclined to be more tractable than the previous lord. Gradually, as dissension was stilled, the taxes and levies became even more burdensome, until eventually the wizard was taking a great piece of everything that was grown, made, or sold in the valleys, including the newborn young of livestock. Around this time, numerous reports arose in the land concerning sudden madness, demonic possessions, sightings of apparitions and undead. Furthermore, monstrous incursions into these settled lands began to increase as raiding parties of humanoids assaulted villages. Evil, fantastic monsters appeared from nowhere to prey among harried peasants. The height of this unrest, Caratus's tax collectors came forth with word of a new levy. One third of all newborn children were henceforth to be turned over to the wizard. That edict turned out to be the tipping point. As one, the people rose up to overwhelm the wizard's lackeys and marched on his keep, where, led by a powerful cleric and his ranger acolytes, they destroyed Caraptus's final guardians. The great wizard barely managed to escape, accompanied by only his personal bodyguard of deranged fanatical gnomes. <coughs> Caraptus fled to the cities of the south and west, but wherever he went, his reputation preceded him, and he was unable to stay anywhere for long. Once again moving north, he came to the shores of the Lake of Unknown Depths, where he heard tales of the haunted White Plume Mountain. After investigating further, he found the refuge he was looking for in the tangled maze of volcanic tunnels beneath the mountain. He and his gnomes vanished, into the shadow of the plume, and humankind heard no more of the evil wizard. That was 1,300 years ago. To okay, this so this carrot piss guy tried to steal babies and got dead. What does that have to do with what's going on? No, no, he didn't get... He didn't get dead. Oh. If this is indeed Caraptus, there is no possible way that a human could live 1,300 years. Connor. Mm hmm Is this putting any formula together in Griggle's head? From what you know? Mm hmm You can definitely draw some conclusions in your mind. Have, have we encountered undead before? Is that something we can decide, or...? Um... um... Griggle... <laughs> Griggle, you... <laughs> right, the skeletons. God, I'm an idiot, sorry. The answer is yes. The answer is very yes! <laughs> I... Recently, wow, my... as a matter of fact, in session <laughs> zero. Closer than you think. You're not the only one, Connor, Jesus. Um, <laughs> my brain just Don't worry. over. It uh, happens to all of us, don't worry. So, Griggle, the, the conclusion you're drawing in your mind, you feel, is probably correct. Mm. Well, this is real interesting, then. Mm. He's, he's trying to hide a smile ever so slightly. So, uh, what exactly was stolen, then? You may have heard their names in his little poem. Oh, uh, let's see, Wave, Black Razor, and where's the other one? Whelm. Whelm. Uh, okay. Marisara speaks first. A powerful artifact that belonged to me and my people. Wave. A trident with the ability to control the seas. Dibs. No, not Dibs. Is <clears throat> mine and my people's by right. You are retrieving it for us. This freaking backhand estic. <laughs> hey! Uh, <laughs> let's show a little what? bit of compassion for the people who are hiring us so graciously, shall we? I don't understand what's so important about a big fork. 
What's important is that it means something to these fine folk. But what's important to us is, of course, what exactly is the reward for such items return? For returning Wave, Whelm, and Black Razor to us. We're up, up front. Uh, and they all reach to their belts and set before you each a pouch containing 1,000 gold pieces. Oh. Well. That's a lot of moolah. That is the 1,000 that you are already given, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, from, okay. A, from a meta standpoint. <laughs> Look, okay, okay. Griggle looks over to, to Ritzel, Vixel, Plix, and then back to them. Okay, and then after all that, what else do we get? For each artifact you bring back, another 3,000 for each of you. Totaling to 10,000 gold per goblin. Estic kind of leans towards Ritzel. That's a lot, right? So Ritzel looks over to him. Kind of, kind of like tilts his head a little bit. If I was looking for more than gold, say, parcel of land? He sort of, he sort of raises an eyebrow and looks over at you, tilts ahead curiously. Land. Hi. Starting to get old in me age and I'd like to have a nice place to settle, little venture of me own. I almost want to insight that. <laughs> Wait. They offered 10k a person? 10k per, yeah. 10,000 gold Assuming per Assuming we person. got all the artifacts, yeah. 3,000 per weapon you bring back. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Holy shit. I'm sure that with your payments, you could easily afford attractive land for yourself, however big you may want, if what that is what you wish. But the local governances ain't exactly kindly to people of our disposition, let's say. Unk sh shakes their head so hard at that. I will see what I can do. Much appreciated. Provided you can return my sword to me. Of course. They're... So, this Black Razor and Whelm, what do they do? Black Razor is a sword of unparalleled power. You hear Estet go, D and then he stops himself and kind of shrinks back down. He, he sort of bites his lower lip. Quite powerful. Ah, uh, and and Gundren speaks up after that. Whelm is a uh, enchanted hammer, I believe. Uh, it might have something to do with Wave Echo Cave, which is my field of expertise. Seeing as how I currently run the place with my brother. Connor. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> sorry. What? What? Mm. <laughs> Nothing. Let's continue. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Some in joke we're not getting. Uh, so where exactly did you last see these things, or where were we looking? Well, uh, do you have anything at all for us to go on? As a matter of fact. The feathered mound in this poem, I believe, points to the last place where Caraptus fled to, White Plume Mountain. And uh, he brings out a map, and if you... The one that's still in your handouts? Yeah, you click on your portrait... 
Uh, go to uh-huh. view handouts and click the only one that's there. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, there we oh. go. I, I popped that window out. That's not what I wanted. We've got map. Here you see uh, a map of the a map of the sort of little bit of land that you guys currently occupy, uh, and he points between Mount Hatenau and Gontelgrim. Mm. That is where White Plume Mountain lay. Hmm. Which is why you wanted us to meet here, I takes it. It is close by, yes. What was all that uh, nonsense about making us somebody slaves? Karaptis, is that like a real threat? Karaptis was a very powerful wizard. He had a way with indenturing people to his servitude, enslaving their minds, making them do his bidding. Specifically with monsters. Although the hearts of men can be swayed just as easily. Oh, lucky there ain't no monsters among us, then, eh? Or men! Does, does that mean men are monsters? All men are monsters, he whispers. Mm. Unk nods slowly. Anyone <laughs> Eyes has closed. it in their capacity to be a monster. Mm. Not all Ritzel, sir. <laughs> yeah, no monsters here. Oh, bright and true as the day is long, eh? When do we start rolling deception checks? <laughs> <laughs> We're not. I mean, lying. you can if you really want to convince them that you're a truly good person. <laughs> Anything can... to dissuade him otherwise. Other than being a goblin, which makes him a racist, which makes him a bad person. We're not sending you in there to try and change his heart. We're sending you in there to retrieve our weapons. Quick question. Sort of rolls up the map. Puts it away for now. Wait, wait, wait. We need that. It'll be yours. I'm just clearing the table. Don't want it to get messy. It sort so... of sweeps some mashed potatoes off of it from your side. <laughs> <laughs> so so right. let's let's say for a for a moment, Dad, we find other information up there. Or other goods or magical trinkets. Are we entitled to what we find? Naturally, it's yours. Are we yours. not steal? Naturally, anything you find in there will be yours, save for Wave, Whelm, and Black Razor. What sort of, of magic are they made from? Uh, Gundren speaks up. Ah, well, Whelm, if my... Sources are to be believed, um, is enchanted and I believe uh, sentient. Oh, <laughs> Unk perks up at that, cocks ahead. It it scented like a candle. No, it it it's like a person. It can. Wait, speak how can it be a hammer and a person? That's the magic of it. Being scented Unk. makes you a person. Honk holds up a finger like birds. Yes, like birds. Birds Mr. people. Mr. Roxiel. I suppose Mr. birds can be a bit sentimental. <laughs> Mr. Roxiel, what kind of enchantment are we talking about here? Well, it is a very powerful weapon. I'm not a warrior, so I'm not sure precisely what it does. Uh, Above game, I'm looking for schools. If, uh, if they would produce any particular school of magic. I believe all of the... Hmm. Aren't well... Enchantments enchantment 
So wait, this thing's been in your possession for how long and you never even thought I am or pick it up and take a swing at her? I mean, it's a relic. It's not not to be wielded by hands that don't know how to use it. You don't know how to use it. Well, I do, but like, I'm not a warrior. I'm a... I'm a... Excavator. I don't mean to be around the bush here. All I mean is, like, if I was to look through, look for it through magical means. Oh, you'd be able to tell immediately, lad. I assume the same goes for Black Raisin Wave. Naturally. Hmm. Easy enough, then. Well, then we have our location. Is there any other information we should know about? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. White Plume Mountain, there is a reason people don't go towards there. People tend to end up missing or dead if they go towards White Plume Mountain. That kept most people away. And our scouts also reported something rather worrying. It seems that the entrance to White Plume Mountain only opens on the equinox or the solstice. And as it happens, we are precisely one day out from the autumnal equinox. Wow, that's pretty convenient. Hmm. And where is this entrance at? The entrance is just to the north of... Dead Knoll, the Dead Knoll's eye socket. A small natural cave. About two miles out from the mountain, near Gauntelgrim. Somebody had fun naming that one. I'm sure there's quite a story behind it. But what I mean to say is, once that door opens, you will have 24 hours to go in, grab all three weapons, and leave. Or you'll be stuck in there until the summer solstice. <laughs> so, no long rests. Got it. Cute. You could long rest for eight hours. Uh, Winter solstice also it. open her up. What? Would the winter solstice open her up, or is that uh, not how this works anymore? You'd be waiting for a whole year. That's a long time to sit in a cave. I'll figure out what that sword does. Some are equal, I doors. should say. Ah, oh, got you there. Hmm. Okay, so the one thing you haven't told us. Are we fighting our way out of there? I think that's up to us. I mean, you know my answer, but are we fighting our way out of there? If... And, and they'll they'll actually notice that he like looks like he's kind of excited about the prospect. I'm sure you'll find ways to put their muscles to use, big man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Party time! If rumors are to be believed, and this is indeed Karapis' lair after all these years, suffice it to say it will be guarded heavily. Excellent. Well, I'm sold. What about you guys? Hmm. These... This voodoo wizard and these guards will be no match for each mall and the frogs that she brings. Businessman at heart, and this business to be had, and so we'll seal it with a shake. And he holds out his hand towards the red-eyed man. He slowly reaches out, grabs your hand, gives it a firm shake. Is he wearing any jewelry? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! He, he is wearing a a signet ring that looks to be. 
that looks to depict a black wolf. Oh, I boy. make note of it. Is that all you're doing? And then I hold out my hand towards the lady. Not again. I heard you like getting your shit stolen, so I stole your shit while promising to get the shit that was stolen. <laughs> she, oh she also reaches out and she grabs your hand and gives you a bit more of a firm shake. She has deceptively strong arms and hands. I make note of that. <laughs> Woof. <clears throat> All right, true to his word, Ritzel does not rob them. Oh, my God. Excellent. That would probably not end well. That would be bad. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Well, you have your 1,000 gold up front with which you can purchase equipment for the trip in. And remember, you have 24 hours to get in and get out. We don't see you back here during that time. We will assume you lost. And therefore your payment will go to someone else in the summer. Whoa, hey, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Shows up in the summer with your shit, then what? I beg your pardon? Well, says we don't make it out in time, but summertime rolls around and we show up with your things. You still going to deny us payment? How will you know where to meet or contact us? Why not I here? feel like walking around with these big magical goo gars talking about, hey, this man of Neverwinter and what's it? They've been looking for this shit. I feel like we get in the right direction or at least the right words will reach the right ears. Here's a better question. How are you going to survive inside of a volcano until summer? I've done it before. There's uh, goblins. There's like, <laughs> living graves for our life. Yeah. <laughs> Anura, An Anura actually raises her hand, and she's covered with mashed potatoes and gravy. Like, just... Oh, my God. Just raises her hand, like, wanting to say something. Our... Are we the first group you've sent after these weapons, Ribbit? Make an insight check. <laughs> oh, boy! Oh, no. Ritzel. Can Ritzel as well, as he oh, would definitely geez. be interested oh, in the answer geez. to this. all make insight six. checks. Oh, Ritzel, Vixel, please, got a 26. Good grief. In, you got 20 you said... more than me. Bestic got a 16. Got a 9. Can someone read it for me? My chat went poof. Oh, oh you got uh, a nine. You got a nine. Yeah, nine. Okay, great. Just like me. Ooh. Estic, you sort of shift uncomfortably, or you see, um, you see Marisara sort of shift uncomfortably in her seat. And Ritzel, yeah, you, you see that Cypherius was about to say something, but said a long sigh. No, you are not. Well, you we tried the rest, and now you got no, the best. We sent no less than three other parties after these items, and we've been waiting for a very long time. So, wait, that means for three years you've been trying? No. Year and a half, I believe. That's what I said. See Ritzel doing some like mental math in his head and like a smile kind of creeps across his face. Well, why we not? We'll go in there. If there's no more, we'll get your stuff <clears throat> for you. Very good. But we're paying you for after all, and getting tracts of land for? Of course. And being the consummate professionals that you are, I shouldn't have to remind you 
that this property of ours is precious. We'll handle it with the utmost care, sir. And bring it back to us. Of course. <laughs> As Tonk is cleaning mashed potatoes off of Anura with a napkin. Yeah. No. No, it's we, armor. No. We would <laughs> We would never steal. Of course. Consummate professionals professionals that you are, you would know the price of going back on your word. Yeah, it sounds like three thousand gold. A piece. A piece. Uh, item. Yeah. Hmm. Nine thousand gold per. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, uh, does anybody else have any questions? Are is there any food left on the table? Or did uh, we clear it all off? <laughs> that, uh, that's up to you guys. Ritzel's been slowly eating, but if he noticed that Estic is still hungry, he'd hand him like his wedge of cheese. Literally, as he asks, are there any other questions? You can see Estic is about to ask something, and as you slide the plate in front of him, he just reaches down and consumes it in one motion. <laughs> uh, Griggle, are you just like bogarting that decanter of brandy? Oh, you're not. I mean, I mean, he's very, very protective of of this brandy. <laughs> okay, I am going to roll a sleight of hand to see if I have gotten a glass <laughs> oh my of it. God. Okay. My sleight oh of hand is a nat twenty. God. You have got to be kidding Griggle, me. you can try for a perception check. I will try. Nope. No. Nah. That's an oof. 12. So, Ritzel Vixelplex is just swirling a glass of brandy. You <laughs> Just all of a sudden. Griggle, you set it down for a second, you swear. And in that time, Ritzel, you sort of... You sort of like emptied out your mug of ale and you just just quickly pour a little bit of brandy into your into your mug and you're just swirling it around. So does the, does this all happen outside of anyone's eye shot? People can roll perception checks. Anybody you sure want didn't to try to it. roll perception <laughs> against my 30? I couldn't I'm, beat it with a nat 20. So I'm covered with mashed potatoes. Uh, while still cleaning the remaining potatoes and gravy Maybe. off of Anura, uh, <laughs> Tonk does not notice any of Ritzel's brandy stealing tactics. Just... But uh, looking at Kai, uh, Kai I swear his name just escaped Cypher my mind. Cypherius. Cypherius. Uh, looks at Cypherius. If any crimes are committed in this pursuit they will be taken away from us at the end they just all sort of look to each other by the way none of them noticed either <laughs> mm -hmm. wow uh and as uh they sort of look to each other and they look back to you as long as we get our weapons back we don't care what you do. Unk smiles very warmly at this, like this is the best news they've heard. Yay. All right. Well, I think uh, we should probably get going. So we many days to, to do this, eh? Right? The autumnal... The autumnal equinox will be starting tomorrow. When the door opens at White Plume Mountain, you will have 24 hours to complete your task. Oh, how, long, how long will it take us to get to White Plume Mountain? Hmm. Going to that map, it's about 20 miles. Hmm. Indeed. Ritzel has the right of it. We better get moving, then. It's nighttime, isn't it? 
Uh, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, it's time for us, though, isn't it? Nighttime is my time, anyway. You may set out whenever you wish. If you need, you can hide out in the dead knoll's eye. Connor, do you know where on the map that is? Because it's not marked. It's it to the, it's. Marked. It's literally two miles north from the mountain itself, so once we find the mountain, all we have to do is discern north and go. Yeah. If we you... head through the we head through the forest. We get to the base of the mountain. We head up to the nose eye hole. It'd be around It'd be like just south of Mount Hot Now. Okay. Cut in that side if anybody wants a lift. Ritzel hmm. says as he stands up from the table and just starts wiping his chin and finishes the rest of his glass. Yeah, give me a moment. I'll be right out. And um, Estic will stand. He's going to uh, put his knees at 90 degree angles on either side of him his arms at 90 degree angles and then he's going to grunt heavily as he claps his hands together and huh. his armor is going to appear on him oh nice and uh he will then uh take some time to inscribe some runes on his armor and connor if you'll let me i'll just take 10 to do that Sure. You can do it on the cart if you'd like. No, no. Very important. Got to do it now. All right, then. So above right. game, are we going to go ahead and take off in the middle of the night? I mean, if we's doing it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we all have dark vision, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd be I'd more be concerned sure. about getting jumped trying to sleep, but... Well, yeah, that's why funny. we wouldn't sleep. If you're concerned about bandits in the middle of the night. If you make it to the Dead Nose Eye Sockets, you shouldn't be. No sane people go there. It's not the sane people I'm worried about. It's monsters and such. Merisara, I believe the forest is your expertise. What say you about the subject? Uh, she sort of turns to you. We will be watching, at least until you make it to the White Plume Mountain. We will keep you safe. Who's we? Me and my people. Ooh, who are your people? The elves of New Shorindar. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, I thought you looked a bit elfy. It's she just blinks. <laughs> Well, if we're all in agreement, then let's let's be on our way then. Unk immediately jettisons to standing and faces the door. <laughs> Rintel's already outside taking care of things to set up his cart. Oh, uh, one last thing. Uh, are we bringing this stuff back here? Like right here? Yes. We'll okay. be waiting. Cool. And he'll head outside. Ankh will pick up Anura. I want to be on your shoulders. And put her yeah. on Tonk's shoulder. And like mm. nod at the figure uh, at the uh, the three in the cloaks and then uh, duck out the door making sure Anura doesn't fall off. I love the imagery of that. Just like <laughs> 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 And just walk uh, it's, 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 it's like a Wookiee in an Ewok. Yes! Yeah! 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 Pretty much. <laughs> and and as uh, as Tonk is leaving with Anura, uh, the uh, Kaifarius and them would notice that Tonk's hammer, which is tied to their side, has a little a little spattering of blood on it. 
Oops. Don't worry about it. All right. As you come outside, you see Ritzel brush, like, barding up and brushing a donkey that is barded up to a cart. That's a good girl, Jezebel. Yes, we's going on an adventure, we is. <laughs> yeah, it's a good girl. Um, I was not prepared, sorry. <laughs> Gr Griggle will stand up for as, for as much as he can and just give a, a nice, noble smile over to three. I thank you kindly for the brandy. And as he walks off... Of course. Nick, I am so sorry. I can't think of a better way to put it. As, as he starts to walk, walk in the darkness, he just gives a garlic junior toothy-ass grin as he mutters under his, uh, under his breath. This may be the ticket I'm looking for. Oh, boy. Okay, I just wanted to do my thing. No, it's it's cool. Your thing has been done. <laughs> As you did it. You it's funnel been out. Done, done, done. You funnel out, <laughs> and you are now surrounding Ritzel and his donkey cart. Okay, so scale of one to ten, uh, how good is Jezebel at climbing mountains? She ain't never uh -huh. tried it before. Oh, I bet she's real good at it, ain't you, girl? Uh -huh. Yeah, you are. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. All right, everybody, let's uh, let's get the show on the road. Okay, you sidle up Somebody and owes you me a party. You sidle up and you hit the road. Take that road. <laughs> Oof. Can can we all fit in the cart, or do some with, of us? We're all kind of with a Nura <laughs> on Tonk's shoulder. Tonk is pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I, was, oh, I was going oh, to man. say, Jezebel, yeah. Jezebel like... could probably carry everybody except Tonk at yeah. once. <laughs> but, perfect, but Tonk perfect. is also perfect. fast enough that don't really need a ride in the cart. <laughs> for, the, for the sake of argument, I'll say it works. Yeah. It probably isn't too hard to imagine. You follow along the Neverwinter River uh, past Thunder Tree into Neverwinter Wood. And as you do, uh... oh, music change. Hearing music kicking in, Jezebel. You hear that, girl? <laughs> yeah, you, you do. <laughs> make your way through the forest, and. All of you make me perception checks. Oh boy. Perception checks. Uh, a. A 21. Wow, I cannot roll a double digit. Connor. Who? I, I believe I understand your suffering. 15. Welcome to my I, world, child. I rolled oh above my. a 10. You inherited Black the bad rolls. Blackjack Ritzel at your service. Ooh. Yeah, sure enough. Um, Ritzel, you don't see it for very long, but briefly, uh, out of the corner of your eye, you catch the form of a sort of a long-eared, in taller individual uh, wearing some bluish-tinted armor, and then just as quickly as you notice it, vanish. Uh, where did I catch them? Were they kind of like in the treetops, or were they... Uh, off, off in... The forest on your level. He's being watched. Yeah, the Who's... elf lady said she was gonna watch us. Uh, it looked pretty elfy. But just keep your guards up just in case. Seemed like it didn't want to know it was watching us. Estic, who is currently sitting in the cart, once you say keep your guard up, he just lifts both fists. It's a little casual though about it, eh, mate? He slowly puts them back down. Yeah. Honk, seeing the fists go up, also raises fist after <laughs> Estic does. Looks, realizes that he's put them down, puts them back down. <laughs> Kindred okay. spirits, I like it. Ritzel and... just taps, like Ritzel just starts like tapping his cane to a beat and starts blowing into a pan flute. 
Not very well. He's not very good at it. <laughs> you, you, you doot out a jaunty tune, uh, and sure enough, your travels go uninterrupted. Ooh. Get hacked, Thieves Guild. Yay! Get hacked. As the both the forest creatures and other things lurking within seem to leave you alone for the time being. They know. <laughs> and you travel for a couple of hours until you finally come upon a natural cave uh, that appears to be oddly bean-shaped. Uh... And you would probably put one and one together and learn that this is, in fact, the Dead Knoll's eye socket. Uh, this might be nothing, Connor, but I would like to go ahead and ritualistically cast Detect Magic. Okay. As, as we make our approach. As you hide out from the rolling storm that comes in, uh, you sit down and this whatever color of energy you would like uh, begins to swirl around you and into your vision and you look around and you don't quite see anything uh, not, with, not with the cave at least mm. other than the myriad of possible magic items your companions may have I'm not seeing anything around here, so I think we're okay. Hmm. Of note, Ritzel has absolutely zero things of magic on him. You do have a donkey cart, though. I that's, do. That's it, pretty magical. It, 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 I have a donkey cart, a bell, a candle. Uh, I have an hourglass. Oh, that's actually really helpful. You'll be the only yep. one of us who can tell how much time we have left. Oh no! Yeah, that's actually as long really as, I, good. as long as I as long as I remember to turn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. And keep it on a level plane. <laughs> this suddenly became way more complicated. Yeah, little. Which is why I kept saying, hopefully you're not in there for that long. God, yeah. hope not. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. It, so it's Our, not open when we get there, right? Like we still have to wait a little bit, or is it open? You are, you're not quite outside of the. Of the Cypherius would have told you exactly when the cave would be opening, like the precise moment of the autumnal equinox, and you would all know this. So you're not at the. You're not at White Plume Mountain yet. You okay. are at the Dead Knoll's Eye. This are we at a point where I can no longer work? <laughs> are we at a point where a cart will no longer work? It would probably be wise to leave uh, the donkey cart here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry, Donkey Kong. You gotta miss this Mario Kart, buddy. <laughs> oh. uh, as, as we get off the cart, I unbridle Jezebel, mm -hmm. walk over to one of the wheels... Hey, Astic, ma, help me out here a little bit, mate. Oh, yeah. I got you. See that pin over there, right there, the one holding the wheel in? Ma, uh -huh. ripping that out for me. Oh, with pleasure. And I'm gonna pull it right out. I'm going to attempt to pull it right out. And I'll, I'll, I'll assist him with, uh, crow, with, with some, with whatever tools I have at my disposal. Crowbar okay. and a hammer. Uh, um, you can, you can go ahead and just roll an athletics with advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Ah, uh, I remember how to do this. Hang on. Hang yeah. on. Yeah. Where is it? Roll it twice. No, there's like actually a. Oh, there's a mechanic for it. Yes. Yes. I got it. I got it. Yes. In go. your in your D and D Beyond sheets, it'll it'll prompt you with your Beyond twenty. Twenty one. Ooh. Uh, nice. Twenty one will <laughs> suffice. As you <laughs> yank the. Uh, Yank the iron spike right out of the uh, wheel of this uh, donkey cart. No, I take the spike and I put it in my bag, 
and I roll the wheel under the cart. Now nobody will be taking that away from me. Mm-hmm. What if As they take you, my the girl. donkey? And why would they take her? We've taken her with us. Oh. Like I said, he, he boops her on the nose. He's going on an adventure, isn't we? Huh? Yeah, we is. Anara whispers under her breath, emergency food. No! <laughs> Ritzel actually, Ritz, hearing that, Ritzel actually looks over to you and winks. <laughs> no! Yeah! No, no. <laughs> well, I was literally about to say, I just want you to know, this is so wholesome. I love the donkey relationship. And then you followed it up. I was that. told we might have to survive in a volcano <laughs> for a year. I'm bringing meat. Oh, oh, yeah. Only a, only a couple of months. So nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the joy of that illusion has been thoroughly shattered. Oh, Just please. saying, what's a beast of burden without no burden to bear? Beast. Oh, the burden of exactly. being potential food. There you go. Uh, <laughs> All right, so. Also, can, can I do my chef's feed thing before we go in, Connor? Absolutely. Okay, Tonk, Estic, and Ritzel. Uh, sorry, Griggles. I, I only have three of them. You each get a mashed potato sausage. Ooh, potato sausage. It'll um it'll last for eight it lasts eight hours and it'll restore three temporary hit points. So oh, Griggle, no. Griggle will remember this. <laughs> I I can only make three, and you're not supposed to take hits because you're a cleric. You're supposed to be in the back. Oh, you poor fool! If you only knew what I was, you uh, don't understand how clerics wait, work. Can I? How do I add a mashed potato sausage to? Uh, my um, it, 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 it would be a ration, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will I now add have it eleven here. rations. Mm. Nice and uneven. All Odd, right. If you will. So, is there anything else you guys would like to do before you bed down to rest? Uh oh. So we're, we're actually taking a long rest. If you want. Oh. Okay. So Connor. Is there something alive around that I could just get my hands on that's not the donkey? Roll a oh. perception check. There are four people in or, here. Or a companion, right? Oh, no. No, you're not going to want that. <laughs> also. Uh, also, perception. Ritzel is right there. 17. Yeah, but I don't know. He stole my brandy. 17. It might, it might feel a little light, but you don't know. Uh, yeah, you could probably see like a squirrel cool uh, i can can i can i obtain squirrel well, how do you want to do this the, squ the squirrel is just happily uh carrying an acorn uh in its mouth and getting ready to climb a tree uh would tonk notice that you're eyeing the squirrel I'd be going off by check, my, I'd be going off I'd be going off by myself to do this. Tonk is a bit of a wallflower, so if you were if you started trailing off, Tonk would probably follow since there was talk of bandits. Alright. Tonk can I help you? I can help. If you can help me, give me that squirrel then. Okay. Tonk will start sneaking over to this squirrel we'll to try and it. just Connor, it. I'm sorry. I wanted this to be simple. Okay. <laughs> 24. That's Holy not shit. bad. The squirrel not does not notice you approach. Tonk has just very soft feet. fucking snatches it and snaps its neck if possible. <laughs> oh, God. You're oh, going to kill don't. it? Please, please don't kill it. She'll, well, she'll snatch it by the neck and then wait for your response. The squirrel goes, <laughs> and he'll 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 uh, finger wag you back over. Walks over with very panicked squirrel holding <laughs> out in front. <laughs> it's the squirrel from the Emperor's New Groove. Okay, so Connor. Yeah. I. Where is this? 
I'm going to cast Divination. What? Oh. Yeah. Is... Hmm. Uh... I, I don't right. know what else I can use, Connor, unless I can omit this. You, you think the squirrel is worth 25 gold pieces? <laughs> no, I have I have that. What have, is life those. worth? You need the, the sacrificial offering plus 25 gold plus pieces. Plus 25, which I have. I, I calculated that out when I was when I was getting stuff for this. All ah, right. A squirrel and 25 gold. The god is listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thanks for sucking away the tension, Lanny. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you okay. You, you cast squirrel. divination. I will. I will. I will sacrifice said squirrel and set up my twenty-five gold worth of incense uh, in a little little makeshift. Uh, I don't know offering slab. I suppose. I will close my eyes. A second. Okay. Great undying one. I beseech you, tell me who really or what really is Coraptus. Okay. Punk's <laughs> eyes dart back and forth, like what the fuck? Are you, are you <laughs> letting anybody watch this by the way? I'm trying not to, cause this is very illegal. <laughs> R Ritzel is just like, cuddling up next to Jezebel, like setting up his bedding and then leave, using her as a pillow. I'm trying to find a very nice isolated spot. Uh, Tonk is, is here with you, so... Estic he would, is currently, he would... like, near where they're going to sleep. And he keeps holding out one index finger with one hand and trying to grab it with the other hand, but he keeps making a fist and losing the finger. Oh, so okay. he keeps he trying to catch his own finger, and he's not getting it. Oh Any of you lot playing cards? <laughs> Tonk, I, I, I need to do this alone, if you don't mind. Booking a squirrel is not secret. Let's just say, uh, it, it's, it's a private affair. Tonk squints really hard at Griggles, hands over the squirrel, Desecration, and just walks away. <laughs> oh. Now I do all those things, Connor. <laughs> As you proceed to immediately desecrate the squirrel, uh, you perform your ritual and you close your eyes. And what did you ask again? <laughs> uh, basically, who and or what is Coreptus? Have fun, Connor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, while while you're thinking of an answer, can can I do? Have Have you guys watched Primitive Technology and they make like little like fancy holes in the ground where people yeah. can live? Mm -hmm. Can Can I do the Mold Earth can trip and like just make us a fancy <laughs> little hovel? So we can all chill in. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. Okay it's a fancy like little hovel cave thing in the ground. Ritzel uh, just points. Oh, can you make a card table over there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mold Earth is just easy. It just lifts up the lifts up a effective table basically of dirt. Nice. All right, this time I'm gonna get you with gin rummy, and I don't care how many blackjacks you have. <laughs> uh. Don't worry, I'll explain the rules as we go. Griggle. I promise not I promise not to eat the cards this time. Yes, um. You feel a jolt in your body. Sort of a sickly chill run through your spine. You open your eyes, and though you can't see it, one of them is a pale green. And you see. you see sitting in a throne in mail made of red dragon scales a bony clearly undead figure 
and you hear in your mind. A failure. Ooh. I believe that is as much as I can get from this. I can't, I, I, I can't ask more than one question. Oh. oh. But that was great. <laughs> Good use of squirrel. As, <laughs> as you bed back down for the night, your ritual complete. Uh, does anybody have anything else they would like to take care of before going to sleep? Could, when, when Could I have just done the sausage thing at the end of the eight hours? Just, just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. When Griggles comes hands back hands in, uh, Tonk looks up and just says, How was your shame act with the squirrel? <laughs> My what? <laughs> Above game what? Your, your shame, shame act. act. Oh, shame act. How was your shame act with the squirrel? Ritzel Cox and Eyebrow. Ain't no Puts one to down. judge. Ain't no one to judge. Puts down cards like sh shame act? What? Oh, you put down cards, do you? Uh, well, well, like, like slide of hand check to shuffle card to check, take a look at your cards. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, one, can I perception check to notice? Sure. sure. I don't notice. <laughs> <laughs> you thoroughly don't notice the Ritzel shuffling the deck before placing it back down. Mm. Hang on, I gotta. I need to find one thing. I have. I have a very nice answer. Ooh. Life is survival, Tonk. And I'll do anything to survive and stay away from Kurobayag. If all the rest of you don't want to, I understand, but you will not get in my way of keeping my fate away from him. And he's just going to go off to bed. There's a no fancy intention. little dirt bedroom in, in the hole. I had no um, intention of it. Anyway, cards on the table, lads. I was going to say, uh, Estic looks over at uh, Ritzel and just hands him a ration. All right, but tomorrow he's going to be happy. I bet so. I bet so. Anka shrugs at Griggle's response. I suppose everyone has needs. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could say it's the greatest need. Some would call it that, yes. Alright, as you game away the night with each other, some may be a bit more skeptical of each other now than before. <laughs> you eventually find yourselves getting to sleep. And for what it's worth, you each get a long rest. Yay! I get my fourth level spell slot back. Ah, I get all my spells back. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> done and done. For the sake of argument, I'll redo my runes the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> and just before the sun leaks over the horizon, this is where we're going to go take a break. Oh, boy! <laughs> Oh, goody. Huzzah! See afterwards, everybody. Got to go to our BRB screen. Hiya! We we Hiya. still can't look at chat, right? Because potential you, you, spoilers or... Just be cautious. I want, I just want to cautious. hang out. Okay. Okay. Just, yeah, I'm going to go say hi to chat for a minute. Oh, yeah, I uh, want to say hi to the people, too. Fast. Hey, I'm everyone. It's anybody, who, anybody who does spoil anything is going to get timed out without a warning. So. Yeah. Oh, hi. no. Be good. So, time. so chat, do you like the second edgy character that I've made? I'm sorry, I've made four idiots at, since this. I need to go back to being edgy. Yeah. That's a, oh that's my a nice Lord. be right back screen. I like it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Well, let me go ahead and counterbalance that with, uh, here we go. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, nice and cheery. Wow. I love that we had I Can't Believe Sora's in Smash the Minute, this like jaunty music that sounds like it would be in. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this, it is kind of Kingdom Hearts-y, yeah. 
I am screaming in a hole of pain. Oh, I'm. I'm <laughs> see a Vin hole of shame. That's what he said. Yep. Vin Smoke, I am so oh. sorry. There is nothing that's gonna fix that squirrel. No. Also, that that, that squirrel got dusted. Like also, Thanos. there 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 is no S after Griggle's name. It's just Griggle. Oh, oh yeah, it's there's just no Griggle. S. Oh, there's no I'm S. sorry. Because oh. I'm seeing I'm seeing people like oh Griggles and Greggles. Oh, so original guys. I'm like, look, just shut up. Oh, Griggle. <laughs> oh, who? It's one singular Griggle. You... One Griggle, no multiple Griggle. Just I don't think the world can griggle. handle. He, he made sure there were no Griggles. Yeah, Griggles <laughs> got man. Okay, Zen, Zen Leah, I need you to stop right there. I'm gonna go get food. I'll be like, Griggle yeah. already made it through the plot of the one that movie with Jet Li, so Griggle is already the last remaining Griggle. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go make tiny cake real fast. Go I'll be for right it. Back. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, Meanwhile, so, so, chat, welcome to the Mark Allen Jr. <laughs> halftime show. BRB. Because Bosco's not here, so I get to do it. Isn't that cool? I hope you guys are having fun. I personally, so far, am having fun. That might be hard for you to believe, but it's true. I would not lie to you guys. Okay. I like you. Ah, I'm back. Welcome back, Aijin. I have cracker nuts. I'm not sure what that means, but as okay. long as it's delicious, then so Mark, for it. You know how this goes. So, mm -hmm. you know those um sort of slightly long crackers that have the uh, chili pepper on them? You get them oh, at yeah, some... Yeah, yeah. So, it's a mix of those with peanuts with like external crackers around them baked into them. Mm, um, I can't have any with... because I would die. Yeah, with uh, with little tiny little strips of nori on the side. Well, the nori sounds great, but yeah, no, I must stay away from peanuts, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Vin Smoke Sanji, say things about wrestling. Well, here's one: things have not been the same since the six one nine was taken out. That's all I'm saying. What what happened? Booyaka booyaka. Stone Cold Steve Austin ruined wrestling for me. Um. Well, now he's doing commercials with Ice Cube. About, wow. About some kind you know of drink thing. So. You know what? Good, good, good for him. Good job. Mm -hmm. How the mighty have fallen. Or risen, I guess. No. Uh, Listen, if Ice Cube was like, hey, you want to do a commercial with me? I'd be like, fuck it, sure. Arukana, uh, we are playing on astraltabletop.com. It's pretty good. It has a uh, wonderful integration uh, with uh, character sheets made on D&D Beyond through a program called uh, Beyond, what is it? Beyond D20, is that what it is? D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond, no, yeah. No, 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 the, the extension. Yeah, oh, Beyond, beyond 20. 20. Beyond oh, yeah. 20. Yeah. Sorry, Connor's much better at this than I am. <laughs> oh, I want to say a thing real quick. Um, Do it. So, really quick, Connor and myself, we do a game on Thursdays with Colonel Cheru, um, Arkolf, and Willie, and Eric. And um, the very first thing that the very first campaign that we did with these characters uh, was Wave Echo Cave. That whole thing. So mm -hmm. like meeting meeting Gundren again, I'm like, oh, this is taking me back. Oh, that's oh. So why you were making noises. Okay. I was making noises because I'm like, oh man, the with memories. That yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, I remember that guy. He almost died. <laughs> yeah, actually, the three of them are pretty commonly used NPCs in, like, mm -hmm. really old campaigns. So, like, stuff from even AD&D. Like, yeah, yeah. I think all three of them come from the AD&D era. So, I have they, they've had some use. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lanny, inside the, the inside thing. Um, yes? Connor, Connor and I play in our in our Thursday game. Uh, that The first campaign we did was Wave Echo Cave. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, Gundren, Wave Echo Cave, I remember. Ah. So it wasn't anything big. I, I figured it was an inside thing. Yeah. No, there's no spoilers. Okay, look, you you meet Gundren like at the very beginning. <laughs> and, you, and he tells you about Wave Echo Cave in the beginning. So I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> in Star Wars, there's Jedi. Did I not Jedi. say Ice T, Volk? I thought I said Ice T. Did I say Ice Cube? I do actually know the difference, but I, I thought I said iced tea, and if I didn't, I apologize profusely to Cube and T. They don't deserve being- One's in Are We There Yet? The other one is in uh, <laughs> Law and Order. Oh, like when someone bets too much on the ponies? Or when they play too many scratchy lottos? 
That is probably my favorite John Mulaney bit. Oh, wow, so uh, we do see your bit up. drops coming in the chat. When Connor gets back, he is the one who has control over the yeah, he, yeah. He, Dream Labs, who, and he can actually read those. So uh, we see you. You're good. We You are seen, chat. We see you. We notice you. I see you. Also, yes, um, we are currently using Astral Tabletop in conjunction with uh, D&D Beyond via a program called Beyond 20. I've been, I've been digging this system. It's pretty sick. <laughs> the, I can't, I can't the, wait to see how like the combat maps like look. The and process work. Of, of making games in this has been pretty fun. Hmm. It's very intriguing. It, like, it has what? zero input lag, by the way. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty instantaneous. I'll say this, like, nice. Roll20 is, like, pretty user-friendly in terms of setting things up, but I do agree that its algorithms are a bit wonk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still don't believe that their dice are balanced. <laughs> I don't know how you how you balance a random number generator, but... I don't not think... like that. Uh, nope. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you also uh, bring it, a dish not even, which could potentially kill me? We're not even a at dish. the bar yet. No, no, I did not, Mark. Gaijin's eating There's... peanut snacks over there. I'm not eating peanuts at all. Okay. I'm eating almonds. Those those kill you? Nope, okay. I'm good with those. It's li it's just peanuts for some reason. I don't know. Why. I'm eating flaming hot Cheetos. I must say, Mark, if you want if you want to have the little like like chili powder soy crackers, you can have those, mm. dude. I will literally come to your house after we're done and get the. <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys don't are tempt me. Texas mm -hmm. me, Frodo. It's funny because there was a time where Mark came over at like one in the morning and we fed him like really nice fish. Yeah, dude. I couldn't believe that you guys did that for me. And then you sent yeah. me home with like uh, mandarins and a mm -hmm. and... bunch of food. Uh, yeah. Never fed and I was me like, really dude, nice just fish. What's with that, Goomba? <laughs> Wait, what? You never fed me really nice fish. What's with that, Goomba? You haven't come to my home, Lenny, at one o'clock in the morning. You know what? Fine, I'm on my way. Just, just... I think oh, it was very now. specifically one o'clock. That's a lie. I actually food. don't know where you live. You don't? I live like I live in redacted. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna? Do, do you yeah, live where everybody else is? Street, at this address. No, 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 no. In this town. In I this zip I literally, code. Lenny. I literally live around the corner from Zito. Okay, so yeah, you do live where pretty much everybody else I know lives. Yeah, I live where everyone else does. I don't oh live God. there. Then I will be there in a minute. <laughs> but oh you don't God. know the number! <laughs> I will knock, I will go I'm out there and lie. yell. You will hear me. I don't know the number, but I know where to go. That's fair, the number's hard to find. I don't know where to go or the number, but I want fish too. <laughs> well, can you get here in two hours? No. All right mm. then. You know what well, numbers I, I like to go to? The what? numbers of bits Bit and drops. subs that our fans have sent us. Oh shit! How did I know? Dawes twenty one, bigger than one hundred bits. If you look closely at Ritzel, you can pull off his face, and it's patches the hyena from Dark Souls. <laughs> I know. Uh, patches the spider, sir, from uh, Bloodborne. You fool! You got it wrong, Gauze. Honestly, Ritual seems like he would come right out of freaking Bloodborne. Yeah. There, there, there was some inspiration. There, there was a lot of inspiration. I, t I took a lot from, uh, like, Dickensian novels. That's fair. Yeah. Razor Brownie, thank you for the 15 months. Dude. Chris Goedy, thank you for the three months. Guys, I'm catching up on the VOD since I'm still feeling under the weather. Yeah, no problem. Hope you feel better. Durgan247, yeah. thank you for the 100 bits. Yes. Bring the donkey along the waste waste of meat if they miss the door. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Indeed. Magic Ninjago, 10 years of spin jitsu. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thankfully, I know nothing about this campaign, so there's no spoilers that'll be coming out of me. Ooh. Volk551, thank you for the bit. Griggle, Lord of Edge. <laughs> Drago soon, thank you for the 1,275 bits. Damn good session so far. Magic Aww. Ninjago, 10 years of spin jitsu. Think of it, 100 bits. So, how's this place working? I don't know what you mean. Like that. Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> was that in the in the message? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, no. It, it spelled out Well, burp. it was, yeah. The space was a burp. Yeah. 
you know, like... <laughs> Applied Thinology, think, uh, think of the 100 bits. Playing Deep Rock Galactic while listening to this. Ooh, it's a good game. Whoa. I haven't tried it yet. Durgan247, think of the 100 bits. Uh, it's by the people who made Valheim. Mm. Bosco's oh. in it, I think. Mm. Oh. Doesn't shock me. He's no, the robot thing. is named Bosco. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. So in a way... Maybe. I mean, Bosco's in, a way, he's the in most it. it. He does wear a funny hat and serve us drinks. My favorite oh, lady baby. Volp551, thank you for the bit. It's Ice Team, Mark. Ice Team, learn your rappers. I'm, I'm sorry. Mean. But I'm gonna do it anyway. But you're so peeved by this specific <laughs> instance. Um, Brian Merrill, actually... thank you for the 100 bits. Suffice to say, Gaijin's character is semi lawful evil. Basically, uh, pale, tiny King Piccolo. This will be interesting. You mean Garlic oh, yeah. Jr.? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, Garlic Jr. It's, mm. yeah. I, I, I that, that wasn't. I was just gonna say that really wasn't one of the starting inspirations, but I'm like, oh god, I think I did pull a lot from this. I, I can't wait for for Griggle to just show that he has a level in barbarian and bust out of his clothes. Just get. Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh dude, wait till he summons the dead zone. <laughs> he 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 breaks that cask of brandy on the ground. Turns out it's just full of black vapor. Black water mists everything. <laughs> uh, yes. I want you to know, I'm feeling really old right now, but I appreciate it all the same. Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. I can't wait until we get back and Jezebel and her cart are taken over the land, making it donkey cart country. Oh my oh god. Sh good. <sighs> Verity and Winter, thank you for the 10 bits. Gaijin didn't give a spoiler. He gave needed info to do the job in the first place. It's true. Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the 200 bits. The only thing Ashel needs is actual displayed dice. Yeah, we talked to them about that, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I could have when we were rolled it at one point, it did display dice. Like, I, I it does the it on D&D Beyond. It out. Oh, oh, yeah, it does it Beyond, it, it, yeah. it displays your dice, yeah. But there's no actual 3D dice feature on uh, Astral Tabletop, which is fine. Not necessary. I turn it off for roll 20, honestly. Ah. I like it's it because it's bounce suspense. around. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Magic Ninjago, 10 years of Spinjitzu. Thank you for the 100 bits. Also, I'm currently sucking on this fig candy. It tastes so good, especially since I've never had actual fig before. I also just noticed the rabbit in the box. Two. What? Sorry. I, fig I almost... is one of the most dangerous fruits because it's got so much concentrated sugar, but it's mm -hmm. good. I just died a little on the concept of dice jiggle physics on... <laughs> the website. Uh, uh, <laughs> you just you, you just it? roll a you know you just you just roll a ball. It's fine. You know those you like cursed your die those, those like cursed like three D renders some three yeah. D artists do. Oh, yeah, where, like yeah. Yeah. oh god. <laughs> just, uh, you, just turns, you roll a dice and it turns into Jello. <laughs> god. Pick somebody, somebody that knows. Or, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you for the 30 bits. Stop talking snacks. I'm hormonal and cranky and craving my stash of cookies. Um, sorry. I'm very sorry. For, for real, like try to, try to get, if it's what I think it is, try to get chocolate and steak or, or a burger. Just get, just get some of that iron in you. I just yeah, had snack cake steak. and chocolate yeah. milk. <laughs> so. Mm. Pixel Bell. Or CG. Thank you for the 100 bits. We want uh, to do a. Ha we went to a haunted house once where we encountered a deceased owner. Instead of spooking us, he raised a spectral glass in respect for our bravery. That was the first time I got a ghost host toast. Hey, hey, come that's on! That's so cute. Uh, that, yeah, Honestly, oh, hold on, God. hold on. You, you can't just do that, Connor. You can't do that. That was a good boast. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. The boast for the, <laughs> the ghost toast. Oh, I hate that. I, I both hate and respect that one. And I'm upset that I, I feel respect that way. It. Uh, <laughs> Volk551, thank you for the bit. Best way to balance a random number generator is using a mic to record atmospherics or record lava lamps. Huh. Huh. What? Sticks joke. Anyway. Scat Flipsa, thank you for the eight months of prime subage. Woo, Gobtober is starting off strong. <laughs> Timator, thank you for the 100 bits. If you say Ritzel's name backwards, would he go back to his own dimension? 
Oh my we God. don't try that, all right? <laughs> still be hasty here. <laughs> Give me like three years, I'll get it. Gauze Twenty Man, thank you for the ten bits. Four goblins walking to a bar. The bar is now Goblin Town. <laughs> That's fair. And finally, Big Peace Pipe, thank you for the one hundred bits. Aren't figs those things that wasps lay their eggs in? Ew! 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 No! I mean, no! No! Wasps no! 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 Lay their no, eggs no, in no. anything. Including wasps other wasps. Yeah, wasps exactly. are assholes. <laughs> they are it's the everyone. worst. Everyone. They're worse than mosquitoes, man. Wasps are awful. Okay, do what do wasps spread malaria though? Like I no. think mosquitoes are worse. <laughs> I, bet, yeah, I but bet wasps could if they wanted to. If they wanted to, yeah. It's by they choice that they don't. Wasps oh. are the kind of guys that would that if they had a time machine, they'd go back in time and be a dick to famous people before they got famous. Ding in them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> and with that, came an anti wasp show all of a sudden. Uh, uh, welcome to the anti wasp podcast. Fuck them wasps. No fuck wasps. wasps allowed. Fuck wasps. Hashtag fuck wasps. Anyway. Yeah. Fuck wasps, not squirrels. Indeed. Okay, but when uh, you say it like that, it gets weird. So we gotta be careful with that one. It's hip. Yeah. Fuck geez. squirrels, not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I love my squirrels. <laughs> Connor, the next time I do that, I'm just be like, I'm burning incense. That's it. Fair enough. All of y'all are getting sacrificed. Come here. <laughs> no. Yes, I fuck my bees. <laughs> bees. <laughs> anyway. Goodbye, chat. Bye, Bye chat. chat. I love you. you. Back to oh, my dear. <laughs> Ew. Did you say ew or few? I said I said sew. Okay, Sew. that's not even it at all. So as we uh as we come back into just the very barest hint of sunshine creeping through the tree line. You all wake up, having rested. Uh, for the sake of for the sake of ease, for the sake of ease, nothing seems to have accosted you during the night. All of your belongings are where they should be. How lovely that nothing has accosted you, did us. Yeah, all our things seem to be where they were. You're welcome, Connor. <sighs> Sorry, my chair is squeaky. That is all right. All well, right. Well, I think we ought to pack up and finish the rest of the route. Yeah. Sounds about right to there. me. You up for a <laughs> little walk, then, girl? <laughs> delayed, hey, uh, delayed donkey reaction. She was waking up. <laughs> Je Jezebel needs her coffee. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't even bray at me till I've had my coffee. <laughs> Hee-haw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hee-haw. There you go. <laughs> Hee-haw, baby. Mm. Oh, my I'll God. Be. As you all stir awake, in the very beginnings of light beginning to hit the land, you can now very visibly see the perfectly cone-shaped mountain off in the distance, and from its top is just a never-ending geyser of white cloud. Oh, well, you look at that. That must be White Top Mountain. No, wait. Feather Plume no, uh... Don't think it's too hard. It's one of those. That's where we're going. All right, follow me. And he's going to uh, proceed forward. Okay. You proceed forward. Uh, and you travel for about an hour, maybe, before you get to the base of the mountain, and you can see now uh, 
sort of a strange entrance that appears to have sort of something emblematic over the entrance. Uh, it, currently, it is shut. Suppose we gotta wait for that there equinox, then. Oh, as, I hate being early. As the sun slowly begins to rise ever more, uh, the sort of reddish light hits the face of the mountain and you hear a <laughs> as slowly the mouth of this <coughs> entrance begins to open and it's the, the cave almost seems to breathe or gasp whenever this entrance opens so we feel the air getting like like blown past us as it gets sucked into the mouth of the cave. Yeah, a large cloud of steam uh billows out and envelops all of you. I hold uh, on to my hat. It's it's not enough to blow you away or anything, but it is pretty uncomfortable and pretty hot and you feel like your skin getting all sticky uh from Ugh. your own sweat. Uh, and then the air seems to suck back in to the mouth suddenly. You know, Anura would actually like the humid hot air. It would it would remind her of the swamp. And so. as you approach, one thing that was just a, a constant was just this rumbling sound. And about yeah. every 30 seconds, another plume of white smoke comes out of this entrance. And then, okay, Maybe that's our way in, though, isn't it? I've got it. So we wait for it to suck the air in, and then we run in so it doesn't blow it in our face. Hmm, that's a good idea. That's a, yeah, it's a fair point. What seems to be the rhythm? I think it's thirty seconds. I could be wrong. But that, nah, nah uh, it's 30 seconds. He's a bright young man. I believe in you. All right, everybody, ready up. We're going to have to run. I get on Tonk's shoulders. <laughs> R R R R Ritzel, Ritzel is just sitting on Jezebel. Come on, shows how's it did. <clears throat> Tonk feeling a bit more protective, kind of like tucks a Nura like a football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're all just puts, just like go into a football shape, like puts a, like a shoulder forward and gets ready to run in. Yeah, don't want, don't want to wait for a second so we can see what's actually inside before we go running in. Can you see through all that? <laughs> kind of indicating the steam that's constantly billowing in and out. It's not constant. That's the thing. Unless I am incorrect, Connor. No, every every thirty seconds, the the plume seems to. As if it's breathing, like if like this is a like a it pushes analogy. it out and then sucks it what? in. Right? It's, it's mm -hmm. like if someone was it's like if someone was vaping, like every thirty seconds. <laughs> when oh, when God. when the air Loud, sucks, bro. When, when the air sucks back in, as soon as it does, I'd like to look into the cave. Okay, it, uh, so the steam is uncomfortable, but not like impenetrable for us to right. Through, the right? the steam it's it's very uncomfortable. But it won't burn you. It's like a really hot sauna getting interrupted by blasts of cold air. I'd, I'd, I'd like to peek just to, you know, just in case we run into a wall, spikes, Squidward, other tricks. Make a perception check. Ten. Connor, I'm rolling like hot garbage tonight. All you, all you really see on the inside once the once the mountain sucks back in, mm -hmm. uh, is just this sort of... N just this sort of natural cave. Uh, you see the walls are sort of slick with condensed steam, but that's really all you can see right now. Okay. So nothing horrifying. Got nothing it. that you can see. Well, I, I think it's kind of clear going in. Right. Here we go. The second you said going in, Tonk charges forward and tries to be as, like, 
quiet, but move as fast as humanly possible. Okay. <laughs> that is a uh, monk thing. You're moving quiet. Roll a stealth check, I suppose. Okay. With disadvantage because you're carrying somebody. 20. And oh. running. Uh, roll again. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Yeah, roll it again and take the lower one. 15. Okay. Ritzel's just going to ride in on the back of Jezebel. Yeah, Estic is not sneaking. He's just running in. Yep. Okay. As you just... all go into the to the face of this mountain, uh, almost a literal face, uh, you make it to this cave, and once again, the walls are sort of... are sort of... Slick with this condensed steam that runs down the side and drips. The floor um, is covered in several inches of this fine muck. Uh, and pretty obviously, you all immediately see this. It's the only thing in this room is there seems to be a small trap door with a rusted iron ring set in it. has bet that. And there's nothing else in this cave? Doesn't seem to be. And we're at a dead end? Other than other than just small holes that lead probably further off into the cave. Ritz Ritzel pats the side of Jezebel as he hops down and goes over oh. to investigate this ring. Okay. Hey, see, good girl. Unk will set down a neuro so that she can look around. Mm-hmm. And start to look around themselves. You walks up, take... starts, starts tapping his cane on the trap door. Okay, you tap your cane on the trap door. You, there's a little bit of, like, cave muck that is uh, built up on this trap door, but you tap it with your cane, and it seems pretty sturdy for what it is. Uh, tra uh, the trap door itself, is it made out of stone? Is it made out of wood? It is made out of stone. Hmm. That, I think I'm gonna be able to lift it. One of you muscle types like to walk over here and try your strength. Oh, we're going down? I mean, sure. there's something here, and it could be. Wait, hold on one second. Uh, like I'm going to. Like I'm going to. Uh, over the door when you stop. I'm him. going to check it for traps. Something that I'm not sure I'm particularly good at, but. Okay. Uh. Okay. Checking for traps. Make an investigation check. Ah, uh, here are my lower stats. Let's go! That's a 10. As you sort of poke and prod with your cane, uh, it doesn't seem like it's trapped. I take, oh. uh, I, I take 10 steps back. Yeah, it's probably good. Go for it. All right, here we go. I'm going to attempt to muscle the trap door open. Make an athletics check. <laughs> Oof. 13. Uh, as you do, you... you oh. And it seems like you almost got it, but you, it's just, like, solid rock that you're lifting uh, up with this. Hang, hang on, I, hang on. Like, and the I would like actually... Slippery. I would actually like to uh, utilize my saving face because I'm... I said I got this. So I got this. So your <laughs> you're saving face. Uh, yeah. What does that do precisely? Once per short, uh, blah, blah, blah. once per short rest, if you miss with an attack or fail an ability check or saving throw, you can gain a bonus equal to the number of allies you can see within thirty feet to a maximum of plus five. Okay, so plus five to your roll, we'll making it eighteen. Yes. All right, you you lift it up and you can't let yourself look like a fool in front of these people and you lift it up and it sort of leads down into a, a staircase uh, but it, you're having trouble holding it open hey uh, uh, I don't need help for anything but you guys want to like hurry down there uh, is there out. anything nearby that we might be able to prop this thing open with 
the donkey. No, the, wait, that one. <laughs> oh my God. The, the, other than the trap door, the cave is completely empty. Tonk will come over and try and help just like heave the trap door open. Okay. Mm, um, since you're both working towards it, make an athletics check with advantage. Before you do that. Uh huh. Knock him dead. He just says sarcastically as he just kind of punches your arm slightly and uh, casts guidance. Please allow me to cast guidance before you do things. <laughs> so you're going to add okay. a d4 to the roll. Oh. Advantage. Yeah. So, so roll an uh, uh Tonk, roll an athletics check with advantage okay. and guidance. 26. Oh my gosh. Uh, what, how would I do that? With it, with it, you, well, with advantage, so, you want to roll it again. So just oh, roll right, it right. again. So it'd okay. be twenty six then. Twenty six, <laughs> and if, if you want to, you can use your guidance. Uh, uh, yeah, the D4, how would you? How do you roll just raw die? The, uh, uh, there's, just, there's, there's a, a little thing just the there. Chat. Yeah, yeah mm. click, click where it says click to roll. Oh what? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Uh, yeah. With with both of you doing it. It's it's pretty easy. You're you're both rather big, and you manage to slide the stone up, and boom! Uh, the door's way is completely open for you now. And now that it is open, you can see that it leads down into a staircase. Um, Estic kind of gives uh, Tonk a look as, that briefly says, "Was that you or me?" But then. You quickly see him kind of like puff up his chest a little bit. Yeah, you're lucky I was here to help. Onk just stares completely deadpan at Estic. And then goes down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tonk. Thumbs up, it goes in the air. Thank you, Estic. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're going down the stairs? Yes. Okay. Checking yes, for his traps and things. I guess we're going ahead. this way now. Come I'll, along, Jezebel. I grab her lead and we start uh, heading that way. I'll be a bit behind Tonk and Estic because, you know, traps. The echo of donkey hooves ringing down this uh, bump. Bump. slowly bump. becoming less natural volcanic cave. Uh, the stairs go downward about 20 feet. Uh, and... You all. See this? Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh. The void. Wait. Smoke. Let me the wait. void. Zoom all the way in. Oh. Holy crap. We are so small. Why did it put you there? Mm, tiny. I, I don't, don't know. know. Get out of there. I'll, 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 move, I'll move over to the stairs. Oh my gosh. You can scroll out so far. There's a lot of there's a lot of we're fog of war here. In the, we're just it's, in there the void. There is a lot of fog of war here, but you do have your sixty feet of dark vision. Huzzah! Ooh! I like that. That's just automatic. Which there. it's already it's, so which cool. it's already exposed. Yeah, and with like yeah. you can actually see where it, it becomes dim light at the end of, of the, the vision. Ladies, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to White Plume Mountain. Ooh! Oh, a lot really of dark good. plumes. I'm in afraid. This not a lot of white out here. There's plenty of white. Except for all yeah, that white. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah. Look, look at all that look at all the clouds. Look, courtesy of, courtesy of, not, not of, a lot of the white one and only Astral Tabletop. I love this parallax scrolling, by the way. Mm hmm So. Oh, right. There's one thing I forgot to add in. Let me go ahead. A donkey. And just... Monsters. Oh, God, no. There's no donkey. Not now. Oh shit. No. There's no donkey. I'll, I'll think of something. Don't worry. That's the first suggestion we need to make. Horse. Add Please donkeys to the provide game. Provide donkeys. Yeah. Please. Just get me a picture of Eddie Murphy. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not Yikes. not not Eddie Murphy's character Donkey. An actual picture of Eddie Murphy. It's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> actual cannibal Eddie Murphy. Oh my actual god. Actual cannibal Eddie what? Murphy. Can I try to listen for anything up ahead? Just 
if if I don't know if if what my goblin ears could pick up, but I like the ripple on this. Boing. Connor, Boing. uh, your goblin ears. Go ahead and make a perception check. All That's an eighteen. Or... Oh wow, ah, eighteen. <laughs> um. Four. Can we all jump in on this or just one? Sure. Oh. I'll jump in on this while I'm looking for this donkey token. Why yeah, can't right. I roll night? Seven. Uh, Ritzel's a very perceptive individual. I was going to say, I'm going to have to ask not. you to stop being amazing all the time. No, I like Ritzel being wisdom, amazing. Wisdom is one of my better traits, uh, even though it's not one of my higher stats. Yeah, I rolled a seven on oh perception. Oh, my lord. God. Make me log in again. Uh oh. Oh, no, our DM has left us in this hell. Estic has developed the greatest of complexes. What? Oh, after the trapdoor? No, just because, like, everyone's doing things better than him. Oh, no. <laughs> I had to, re I had to oh, refresh. No. We're good now, though. It'll, it'll make those clutch moments even more clutch. What clutch moments? Yeah, wait, well, just, just wait. Have you played with me before? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so everybody who rolled above a six. Okay. Uh, you can you can hear off in the distance a faint. <sighs> so something's breathing in there. Scary breathing. Yeah, well, not good either. I have to breathe. What kind of breathing is it? Like the like, oh. like the breathy kind. Uh, oh, Ritzel God. and Anura, you can tell that this uh sort of appears to be a strange like it's it's deep, but oddly not like a creature breathing. So it's like the cave itself breathing like this this is the eminence of what we were seeing, that steam being blown out. You're unsure. It could be the cave itself breathing as it doesn't sound all natural like, but I believe our companion here knows a bit more about nature than I do. Hmm. Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> pat, uh, well, I guess you're too tall for me to pat you on the shoulder. I pat you on the under hip. <laughs> would I discern? Would it be medicine to discern if it's something naturally breathing? Here's your, or... here's your donkey. Oh. Donkey! <laughs> donkey! Oh my wow. god! What a very regal donkey. Man. God. Good genes on that donkey. Isabelle's a very regal donkey. Psyche drank the happily ever after potion. Okay, <laughs> just, 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 just ignore, just ignore that it, that that uh, just ignore that it is a, actually a riding horse. Oh. Just ignore it for Pay now. Pay no attention oh, to the Arabian. It's, it's a actually riding a donkey. donkey. It's like little Sebastian. Uh oh, hang on. My recording software just got stopped. Oh, that's not cool. Well, and your microphone uh, quality just shifted. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. It's like your mic just stopped. It's like you're on a different mic. Check your interface. Well. Hold, please. That's not my favorite. Take five, everybody. I've located our donkey, so that's good at least. We have donkey. Donkey! And in the morning, donkey. I'm making waffles. I'm making a waffles. That is a nice boulder. What are you do, computer? What are you do? Did the program itself just freeze or did it just stop recording? It just like stopped recognizing my mic. Oh. And I'm not really sure why. Well. Uh, you can try unplugging and plugging it back in. That is what I'm doing. Please Did bear with us work? while the party experiences Yes, I'm so sorry. It happens. Technical difficulties do happen. 
The joys of technology. Miracle of modern technology. This so technical good. difficulty brought to you by Mercury in Retrograde. <laughs> you call it pseudoscience. I call it pseudo. Science. Uh, it looks like <laughs> my mic is like that back. big pod. Oh, yeah. You, you, you yeah, sound a little, a little quiet, bit quieter. but it's better. Yeah. But it's better quality. Okay. One moment. Uh, okay. Go. Do I sound like a normal human? A little bit, yeah, a little bit quieter. Loud. Well, a little quieter. Is that is that more? Is this more better? There you there go. You go. That's, That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, um, All right. Gonna record yet again. All did right. You, I'm back. Sorry, did Austin. You, did you lose uh, the previous stuff? I don't think I lost much. I looked. I looked over at it. Uh, cause let's see. Okay. Well, we can. Well, we have to resync either way. Yeah. yeah we can tell. Yeah. We can tell Austin about it at the end. So. Chat, are you ready to sync, sync with us? Do you need me to restart recording or? Yeah. No, uh, okay. Oh, are we, we're restarting? We usually just keep going and then just. Yeah, I, I'm just keeping going. Yeah, I, I, keep I, going then. I think I stopped somewhere past two hours, 40 minutes. So. Okay. So I not, that's not terrible. Terrible. I, I didn't miss yeah, very much at all. He'll, he'll, not he'll just, terribly he'll just long. Just sync Caitlin in. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and sync back up. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chat can join along. Woo. One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 All right. We're back in business, Yay. everybody. Sorry, oh, fucking... Sorry, Austin. Sorry. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. the donkey. So, uh, as you're traveling down, the staircase is badly rusted, but it appears to be sturdy. The air inside this passageway is warm, humid, and pretty foul. You reach the bottom of the stairs with a splash, and you note that the floor is submerged beneath a foot of water. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Back on Jezebel Lago. A foot of water is going to be a problem for some of our shorter friends. Yeah. As I said, back on Jezebel, I go. Tonk, Tonk. looks down. Tonk. Mm. Who's, uh, is that Anura? Yeah. Tonk will pick up Anura and put Anura on their, sh on their shoulder. Yeah. I thought frogs like water. Estic is going to walk over to Griggle and just kind of look at him, sort of expectantly. I would like to inspect this water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, as you Fra inspect the water, uh, go ahead and roll perception check. And frogs do like the water, but I am not a Ten. frog. Ten. Why? Uh, you notice floating on the water are splotches of sort of green and white subterranean algae. Uh, it's sort of like a fungus that clings to patches of the wall and the ceiling. Hey, Anura, do you recognize this algae? Hmm. Anura will, like, climb down Tonk and kind of inspect it. Uh, well, uh, nature check. You are just Baby Yoda in my head now, by the way. Yeah, pretty mm. much. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> uh, 14. Okay, 14. not too shabby. You've seen this type of cave fungus before. It's sort of like, uh, it sort of um, gathers around really moist and dark places. Uh, you also know it to be harmless. It can found, be found pretty much anywhere uh, where there are caves. That, that, that's typical muddy, like, muck. It's, it's not dangerous. So it's natural, then. Aye. All right, it's one little worry off my mind. Unk grabs a handful, squishes it, and throws it against the wall. <laughs> Grab a handful and yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, algae. And it sort of slaws off the, the wall. Unk has a really is... dumb <laughs> smile and like that scarred part <laughs> that like there's the tooth showing just as like 
really showing a bunch of extra teeth. <laughs> can, can, joy. Can, I, can I grab some moss and throw some 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 mud at the same spot? Sure. Just just mimicking Tonk. Laura, right, can we please just focus a bit here? Ritz yeah, is actually going to be yeah. kind of like feigning away from there, trying to like pull Jezebel back, trying not to get all this mud on his finest. Punk high uh -huh. fives Anura for throwing the moss. Yeah, disrespect yeah, we, your surroundings. We do need to focus, Griddle. Are you going to be able to swim through this? I'm three it's feet not, tall. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, I am. It, it's not hampering yeah, but it's a any foot, of you. It's a foot deep. Which is I, ima I imagine it's reaching my danger zone, so to speak, but that's your about it. Danger it's, zone? Wow. It's, it's not going to hamper any of your movement. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's, this you is, know, he's, this is he's, totally he's... an in-character thing. It's not about, like, uh -huh. mechanically, can you do it? His squirrely baits. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, if they're going to throw algae on the wall, I'm going to keep moving forward. Okay. Uh, All right, but if you forward. drown, it's not my fault. Also, also be ginger. Don't teleport around here. The fog's here for a reason. No, I know. That's that's. I was I was just trying to motion myself forward because I'm moving. If okay. people want to, at your so just at your leave. We'll just, we'll just assume that Jezebel's under me for right now. T T at format. Your leave, me goblins. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a teleport. <sighs> Sorry. Well, you're click all click. you're all teleporting click. on the screen, but click. that is totally click. fine. Uh, Connor, I, I would also like to just not really passive observance, but just like keeping a very close eye out for anything in the water, ceiling. Uh, what's your passive perception? My passive perception is 13. Well, uh, oh, excuse me. That's passive wisdom. Passive. Uh, yeah, passive yeah, wisdom. Okay, yeah, passive for, perception. Uh, Passive yeah. perception is 13. Excuse me. Uh, being, being as far up front as he is. Uh, Ritzel's passive perception is 19. Oh, all right. Ooh. Yeah, as you as you get closer now that you're now that you're tuned in on it, your breathing uh the breathing you're hearing is getting a bit louder. Can I roll another check to see if I can determine what kind of creature would be making that breathing? Nature? Nature. Okay. Hey, that's go. a natural oh, 20 oh, for there some, we go. Okay. for some wow. reason. All right, so so go ahead and stop where you are, everybody. Okay. Oh, Ka-chunk. Oh, oh. uh, you, as you're getting closer, you're sort of like tilting your head back and forth, and you realize that you've, in your travels, you've probably heard, like, the way a mountain lion would would sound this mm. sort of has this deep rumbling sort of breathing and yet it's got with your natural 20 it's got an air of it that it even though it sort of sounds bestial the sort of ending is a bit like a person breathing all right hang on hang on hang on everyone get back I can't really explain what this is, but it's like some kind of animal. But not quite. It's it's maybe it's like a hybrid. Ugh. Like uh, it's some kind of monstrosity. I like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Let's so all be fighting it, right? Let's how, all be how, careful around this corner. How cl how close does it sound? Very. Ritzel is going to get off of Jezebel and just like kind of sneak over to the corner and just peer around it. I'm gonna be okay. behind him. You can sneak over to the corner and you can peer around it and you can physically peer around it. We actually can physically peer around it. I just wanted to do it in a sneaky way in case there was something there. Uh, how how close does this breathing sound? Very close. Oh, oh. oh, very, very, very close. Okay. Oh, and now you can a, see the source of it. Getting oh. a glimpse of that. Uh, pa if, do I need to make a passive perception? Like, do I need to make a perception check, or is my passive perception enough to get a good glimpse of that thing's body? Um, as you sort of round the corner, 
come on. Give me a second. As you're around the corner, uh, are you trying to do this stealthily? Uh, knowing that there is a creature that may wish to eat me, yes. Roll stealth. Stealth check, that's an 11. Oh. Ooh, that's not going to cut it. We're, hit we're hitting the, the parts that I'm not great at. As you, you sort of cash the flashing of feline eyes in the distance, as the creature's claws sort of clack against the cave floor and leans up, Who goes there? Realizing it's intelligent, Ritzel now believes there's a chance he might not get eaten. <clears throat> we Steps all heard that, right? The... Uh, it appears to have spotted you. And yeah, it steps out from around the corner. Slightly forward. Terribly sorry for the intrusion, Ritzel Vixelflix, at your service. Ritzel Vixelplex. That's the name my mama gave me. I have not welcomed guests in quite some time. <sighs> well, it's quite a pleasure to be the first in some time, then. A pleasure. Company is always a pleasure. Hearing How long has it been since you've had company, exactly? Oh. Not since the winter solstice. Some people oh. coming down this way? Yes. Are you too intent to pass me? Such things. What was that? You, you kind of sort of cut oh. out there. Uh, if you're amenable to such things, that would be quite pleasant. I have no qualms, but unfortunately, the master of this place holds sway over me. If you seek okay. to pass me, you must first answer my riddle. All right, I see what I can do there. I got a good ticker on my head. And you're all hearing this as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little totem pole. I imagine. I, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I imagine we all appear around the corner at different heights. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Scooby Dooing with 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 uh, Tonk on the bottom. Yep. <laughs> Very well. Listen carefully. Round she is, yet flat as a board. Altar of the Lupine Lord. Jewel on black velvet. Pearl in the sea. Unchanged, but air changing eternally. I believe you's talking about the moon there, love. She smiles. Yeah, I was totally going to say moon, too. Correct. And sort of with the wave of her tail, uh, you see these sort of azure motes of magic flick away from her tail and sort of flow in front of you and begin to dissolve this invisible wall that you hadn't seen. Fanciful. That was quite clever of you, Ritzel Vixelplix. Much appreciated. I hope you don't die. And she I waves her tail. <laughs> she waves he her tail... Hmm? He looks her dead in the eyes, just smiles. I right, hope so, too. Hmm. She sort of turns uh, and begins to round a corner. 
That was pleasant. Yeah, she seemed nice. She did. So, did you hear that? That means oh. them what came before us walked through this way too. Which means, if they each got paid like we did, then there's like some thousand gold waiting for us on a couple of bodies up that way. Mm. You... You say that, but I think we're dealing with something that may uh, bring them back, so to speak, and not in a good kind of way. Well, I'm willing to bet that them's that what brought back ain't gonna be using that gold neither. So, kind of shrugs. Tonk, you good? <laughs> let's just be let's just be careful on our way. Spin. Tonk, tonk, you good? Spin. <laughs> sounds fun to me too. Ritz will do some somersaults himself. Tonk uh, huh. gets their bearings. Come along, Jezebel. And uh, you know, uh, walks be careful, forward. guys. If you're gonna walk ahead, if something explodes, it's probably gonna kill you. I say, and you'd like to go first, then. I mean, uh, you know, I'm better at you know surviving explosions than you. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's true. All right, I'll no, no, we're stopping. We're stopping for a hot second here. Oh, stopping. Griggle, Griggle, second. Griggle, just, just, just backs up. puts up <laughs> puts up a hand up. Just be like, hold on. He's gonna pull over. He's gonna pull past this cloak. And you're going to see a very, very firm, skeleton, sort of Abs. rib cage. No, no. You just see. You just see this nice ribcage style of breastplate all about him he's f he's fucking armored hey that's that's really good armor but you went on like this whole speech about not wanting to die and stuff so i figured if you don't want to die you'll probably let me go in front there's a difference between not dying and killing anything in your way is there he's gonna keep going as you... So Rizzo, wa Rizzo walks up to this fork in this hallway. Uh, you see that the hallway sort of forks off into three separate paths. One uh -huh. going northeast, northwest, and north. Uh, did I manage to see which direction the sphinx went? Or the cat lady bird thing? You did not. Mm -hmm. just, that As... she w just that she wandered into the darkness and around a corner? As she turned away, you did notice her tail flicking once again, and her form seemed to shimmer and vanish. Oh, dang. Right into the air. Looks like Magic. there's a slight outcropping up ahead from this central corridor. A little bit of liquid down that one that way. It's all still... We're still under foot of water, right? Right. You're still, like, sort of mm. sloshing through. What you see over that way, Tonk? Slime. Not that slime. slime, other slime. The one that is not the one we fought before. The it moss. Mm -hmm. All right then. Well, so which I'd way? say we go straight forward. And why do you say that? Uh, well, no distractions. You gotta just keep moving forward, right? There's another way to test this. Is there a wind flow here? Uh, the air here is sort of stagnant, really. Uh, other than it all seeming to flow back up towards where you came. So not particularly. Not particularly, no. There doesn't seem to be any wind flow. Hmm. All right, straight ahead's as good a guess as any other, really. Unless you have any particular reason that we should go any other direction. Tonk's just scouting a little bit. Like, very quietly, stealthing forward, seeing what all's going on up this way. Okay. You are, uh... Listening stealthing? very intently as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll a stealth check. Okay. Twelve. Mm. Okay. Yeah, all right. You 
try to sneak your way up there. Uh, are we all moving or are we waiting? You can move if you want to. Tonk's <laughs> just tonk. making a choice. Uh, up ahead, you see what appears to be a water-covered room with steps rising out of the muck on the far side. What's this uh, little outcropping over here on the side of the hallway? Yeah. We're just kind of wandering by. Uh, that is... Ah, yes, the Cavern of Exploding Runes. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Great Lost Cavern of... Uh, cavern uh, of Exploding uh, Runes. <laughs> yes, I'll move around too much more until we figure out what this is. My only regret is uh, that it I appears, can read. Uh, it appears to be just like a... Uh, like a little pool of water. Can I investigate? Uh, you sure can. Can I do the help action? Uh, oh, never mind. Well, that's a nat I twenty. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't need your help. At the oh, at the bottom okay. of this ten foot deep pit is uh, a wheel. It looks like a sort of rusted metal wheel. Uh, and it's connected to a valve. I see something oh. down here. It's like a valve or something. Hmm. A valve of some it. sort. Any idea Maybe it'll it drain. possibly lead to? Maybe it'll drain all this water. Quite Don't... engineer. Don't kid, give us a hand. It's kind of deep. Hold on. I got it. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. And I'm gonna move over and attempt to swim down to turn the thing. Okay. Uh go ahead and roll a strength check. Guidance. I'm waiting. Well, I mean, you, I'm, I'm just calling it. I have to call it before you make the right, check. Okay, right. so, it's, so you are casting it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wasn't it's sure if you were trip. committing it's to a it. Can, it's a cantrip, so I, I wasn't, gotcha. I mean, if I need to, I can roll it. Oh, why did I use that already? Uh, thanks, roll 20. Well, here, let me just roll this d4 real quick. Roll 20 is not even here. I'm this blaming it anyway. This is tabletop, baby. Yeah, fuck Total you, nine. roll 20. <laughs> total of nine yeah you, you know you sort of my best well, feature while you're holding your breath in this 10 foot deep pool you're like <laughs> and the, you just zero give you can't save my Aethon can you help us out over here Estic is very stubbornly what? not giving up he's still down there but you can tell he is having a hard time that... how oh, long can he up. hold his breath one minute plus one per con, was it? What's your constitution modifier, Estic? Plus two. Okay, you can hold your breath for three minutes down there. Oh, wow. Tonk will dart past Tom, like, jump in and uh, go down and just, like, no, no reaction, just jumps in, swims down, and starts turning the thing with Estic. You probably just have to squat, considering how tall you are. Well, he oh, said yeah. it was ten feet deep. Oh That's yeah. Fair. So gets in, like, kind of swims the arms down, and then just uh, <laughs> turns it because that's only a three foot difference from my height, <laughs> barely. Mm. You have Guidance says an you go down. Uh, and what do I need to do for that? Strength, you said. Roll a strength check. Okay. 16. Plus your guidance. I'm going to do guidance right now. Yay. One. Dang it. 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> yeah. You go, you go down and you're 
and you try to, with your massive bugbear paws, try to slowly, you hear a little, eh, but then something slick on your palms just completely By loosens chance, your grip, and you any, it, you can't seem to turn the wheel. By any chance, do they get advantage since I'm technically helping? Uh, if Ooh. you were giving the help action, I guess you can go ahead and roll with advantage. Well, because I, I was already down there trying to turn it. All right. So I would roll again then? Roll again and right. take the higher number. And add your one. <laughs> I there will to go. my 19. 18, which is now 19. 19. Ooh. Still not enough. Oh, wow. 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 That is a... As you just, you think you have it just barely and... The wheel is just, just too rusted and doesn't seem to give under both of your strength. Damn. As you surface. So what's that wheel like? Is it got like spokes? Oh. Uh, it didn't say anything. I don't, uh... Fair enough. I hand him an end of rope. Could you tie that to a part of the wheel that might be able to be tugged against? Uh, that's some smart thinking right there. Yeah. I uh, I'll swim back down and and uh, tie it around. Okay. The uh, the one of, one of the solid like center spokes. And uh, knowing what they're about to pull, Tonk will wait until. Vixel or Ritzel uh, starts to pull on the rope and then go down to help oh. guide the opposing side. Gotcha. Ritzel is you... no way going to try to pull this rope himself. He's tying it to Jezebel. Well, there you oh. go. Well, yeah. What, whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> me, tension that Ritzel you. creates. I just yeah, assume she's, she's always on a lead with me. Huh? There you go. That's a good girl. Yeah, Indeed. he's going to help pull a rope there. Right. Uh, and as you, as Estic and Tonk sort of dip down into the pool, Ritzel, Anura, hmm? roll wisdom Hi. saving throws. Oh, oh no! Wisdom. wisdom saving throw, not my greatest skill. Oh, that's that a is one. A, that is a modified 20, though. I'll take it. Ritzel? Oh my god. Okay. That's not Far good. That's Alrighty. Uh, the program likes me, so I like this program. Oh my god. <laughs> Ritzel. Nothing seems to happen. I'm just, Anura. I'm just, tie, I, I'm just tying the rope around Jezebel as if nothing's wrong with my day. The second you try to take a breath, it's like you're suffocating. Uh, oh no. And there you go, girl. I'm just like frozen in place. You are incapacitated. Oh. Oh no. Do do I as fall over are, or am I standing? You, you can stay standing if you want, but you are struggling to breathe right now. I, I look over to Anura as I finish like tying the rope around Jezebel. about. There we go. She's all. Uh, Anura Griggle, looks very you know, stressed I, out. I, I point to where I look at Griggle. All right, you do something. That one me. I'm immediately going to look to the north and the south just to see if there's anything that's causing this. Roll perception checks. All right. Uh, uh, roll on. your... Uh, Ritzel is... Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? I, I was just trying to give you... I, I was going to... Can I... Hang on a minute. I need to see something. You can give yourself guidance. Can oh, you? You are not su you are not suffocating, but you are incapacitated. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I will guidance myself. Then I suppose. <laughs> God, my pa my passive perception is better than that. I guess I'm I guess I'm too busy with Jezebel. Uh, uh, One willing creature is yourself. You can oh, choose. Oh God, I'm gonna. I'm At gonna your D4, you can still beat me. You beat no, me. No, I you can't did beat him. Oh, <laughs> you did. That's by one thirteen. Oh god, I hate this. It's okay. I'm just, you know, the druid's incapacitated. No biggie. No biggie. 
pretty standard I'm, adventure. I, like I, I'm, I'm more focused on Anura. I'm just gonna walk up, just kind of like tap her on the cheek. Just hello, you, you there? Hello. Can't, I can't move or anything, can I? Uh, incapacitated means you cannot take actions or reactions. Doesn't can I still talk? Uh, I believe. You can still talk. You're just incapacitated. Foul magics? Somebody's casting on me? Magics? Do Was I able to grab anything without 13, Connor? Nope. Oh, shit. Can't move. What's the rap out of this? Uh, Vixel is... Ritzel's just kind of, like, looking around, obviously, like... Fuck is... Oh. Actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Anura. Oh, no. Uh-oh. There's more. Sorry. I should have read. Yeah, no. My mistake. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh... You sort of... push past... Ritzel. Oh, no. And begin walking this oh. way. Oh no! Well, I immediately, oh, no I immediately right. run to grab her. Okay, well look, please, if you're just please, gonna please, act please, like please. that, then I immediately run to grab her. Uh, roll athletics. Is that verse? Oh. Do, do I have to roll athletics? Um, I. You. You can't take actions or reactions, so I guess no. Okay. So but I you guess I'm feel grabbing. you feel this pull to move in this direction. You can't help yourself. I can't help myself. I gotta go. That Everybody way. can help him and help me stop her. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. I will give guidance on myself to try again whenever I get the opportunity. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to st I'm going to just like slap. Jezebel on the ass. All right, stop pulling the rope. <laughs> did did I move the wheel when they pulled it? What what did your what was your strength? Chip? Oh, I didn't I didn't do another one. We you got ambushed with one. thought. Yeah, yeah now, 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 now you got Jezebel. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, ones with a five, so yeah, with, with advantage because you got a donkey helping you. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. Go ahead with the road with it. Yeah, donkey! Donkey! You did yeah, right with the donkey. 17. Nah. Sorry. Uh, I figured. I figured. It's just not moving. Oh, well, Jezebel's not moving. She's tied to a wheel. Oh, she's tied anyway. to the wheel, yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm under some sort of shit, so... Yeah, I heard you shout, get out of the pit. So I got out of the pit. What's going on? Help me stop her! He's talking about some sort of <laughs> magics. Oh, cool. I Get out I of the will, water. I will attempt some, to grab Anura. Yep. We need to go that way. I assume this is like some sort of compulsion, right? You you feel the need to go straight towards this room. The need for speed. We need to go this way right now. I'm, yep, Strong I'm, way. I'm trying to grab her. Anura. Hmm? You felt this when we tried to move the wheel, yes? I, so, uh, I, I assume, Connor? Uh, you know, all you all you know is that you gotta get in there. The facts might not be entirely related. All I know is I gotta get in there. Connor, would you like me to do an athletics check to grab her? I mean, I'm pretty Griggle, seems, Griggle seems to have a good grip on her right now. Uh, do I need to do another uh, okay. wisdom check, or is is this like ongoing? Nope. Okay. All right. I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get in front of her. Oh. Grab her by. The... I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, Tom, I mean... Tonk's gonna try one more time to move this wheel thing. A nine. Mm. You gotta get in there. Yeah, really want to move this wheel thing before we try and go in that room. 
I'm sorry, Gaijin, but like my character's being magically compulsed. Uh, That's fine. You're still gonna have to get through all of us first. Yeah. So I guess like try to climb over Griggle. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna grab her and then smack her in the face. Yeah. Get it together. Rude. Just, just a good. And then, uh, yeah. Do I'm, I get I'm, try, I'm trying to initiate oh. re-roll. Yeah. Do I get? Uh, a, do I get another wisdom check? You're, your smacking doesn't seem to initiate a reroll, but if you you uh, uh, you wait another another couple of seconds before you feel a gap, and you can go ahead and roll another strength check. All right, come there on, we go. baby. Or, oh, oh, strength 15? check. Wait, sh sh wait, should, shouldn't it be athletics? <gasps> or is this strength? This is a strength check. Okay, just Raw strength. Raw strength. Gotcha. Tonk is trying to turn the Raw wheel. Raw strength. Raw strength. Do donkey's, and, still donkey's still helping. Oh, Donkey's still helping. So another one. Oh, you're yeah. talking about down there. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, just so completely. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, so I gotta cut it. Yeah, yeah that this wheel. One. That wheel is being stubborn and is not wanting to open. We need some WD-40 up in here. <laughs> underwater. <It's> underwater. And <laughs> as yeah. you, as you, Anura, you sort of focus yourself and. You feel the connection snap, and you no longer feel compulsed to uh, go into this room. Do do I know that was like magic affecting me? Like, or uh, you know something strange was going on. <sighs> and Nera shakes her head like, like, just shakes her head like crazy. Like, Bleh. what was that? Told you we you gotta just, be careful in here. Just really wanted to go in that room. It's, there's magics going on. Well, if you're good, I'm gonna go back to the wheel. He kind of like side eyes you as he steps past. Hey, Esther. I think that wheel. I think that wheel uh, is a lost make cause. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no! No. Something really doesn't want us going near that oh, wheel. Oh no! I know. Probably because it would help us a lot. Oh, okay. 19? Hey! Oh! You, Estic the you Wise. Got, you gotta go get that wheel. <laughs> get that wheel. Make I'm a wisdom, wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh, no! Me? Oh. Stop it! Wisdom saving Oh, but you're a monk. You should... Well, you should have something you Tonk the monk. 14! You feel fine? Oh, the... Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, who is actually gonna make the roll for the strength check in the water? All right, I'm, but here's here. the thing. Now we have Estic and Tonk and Donk. Oh I repeat, I repeat my donk. question. Who is going to make the roll? I believe we have the same strength, so we do. It doesn't really matter. Cool. But then, if you'd like, I can. Um, couldn't we both? Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna guidance Estic, guidance Estic. Okay, then guidance to Estic. So get your D four. Connor, you're good with this. Sure. Sorry, we're doing a lot of <laughs> we're doing Tonk, a lot of deciding without you. Estic, Tonk, and Donk. Estic, Tonk, and Donk attempt Tonk to move donk. wheel. All right. Estic, there's, Tonk, and Donk move wheel. There's weird wheel. magic shit going on, but this wheel. So, this I'm wheel. gonna roll. This wheel. Oh. We gotta well, get to on. this wheel. We have hold to on. get this wheel. So Connor, who all do you want rolling, and what? Whoever wants to, one person can roll with advantage. <sighs> Okay, okay, it has to be Estic then, because you've got guidance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will activate advantage. I will roll strength. Sir, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's what I don't need go. to. Natural 20. That's a that's 20, Finally. Oh There's my another four. God. Oh my God, yes. 28. And I max rolled the four. So, does. As this is where Chiroptera are the wizard has been let hiding. him talk let him talk yeah, sorry, sorry. as you finally crank the door open this rush of water goes past you and the rest of you the water level around your feet begins to lower yeah it's nice my boots are all dry now as you feel the rush of water uh slowly go down into this pit It seems like it's bottomless. 
So does Man. all the water drain out? The water, it's going to be a process, but the water seems to be draining out from the hallway around you guys. Hmm. It, I assume it'd take forever for like it to be gone, but it's definitely lowering. With with your calculations with how much water you're swimming through right now, it'll probably take about an hour. Are we okay for it to, to drain completely? It open? Mm -hmm. Like, like does it do? Am I holding it open no, or having it's, turned it, is, it it's open? It is it is it's open turned. now, so okay, it's so, good to stay open. Okay, so we'll step out. Yeah. All right, I uh, I did the thing. <laughs> Connor. Seems to be working. Yes. I, I swear to God, if there's an ableth in that chamber. Oh my <laughs> God. Okay, everyone. <sighs> mm -hmm. Now, Joke's let's on see you. what it's was so interesting. Now, let's see what was so interesting about that chamber, shall we? I Rick, so hang on, hang on. Yeah, give me for a second. Right, I gotta untie Jezebel. <laughs> this, this is for good luck if you're going on ahead, and I will give you guidance. Oh, I feel all invigorated. So Thank you have you a minute. Yep, you have a minute before that wears. Okay. I use part of that minute untying Jezebel and getting my rope back. <laughs> well, whenever you're done untying, then then I'll hit it, hit you with it. All right. Yep. I will and wander ahead and perceive the room. Tong, as you wander ahead along. and perceive the room. Uh, yep, pretty much the same as before. Uh, it's uh, the water from the surface of this is slowly draining out, but it appears to be a 15 feet deep pool. And mm -hmm. is this like just an L-shaped walkway and then the rest is pool? Yep. Okay. That is correct. Is pool. Is pool. Gross. Tonk will scan the waters but stay away from the edges. Okay. Make a perception check. Okay. Oh, natural oh. 20. Nice. <laughs> Back to back, baby! Wait. Um, your wisdom is zero? Correct. Oh. Charisma monk, baby. Huh. Charisma Not monk. Not charisma. Tonk. Oh. oh. Dex okay. Tonk. As you're looking around in this 15 feet deep pool, uh, you notice uh, that it seems to be full of a lot of seaweed. And is is there any movement in this seaweed, or is it pretty still? It's the the water is pretty placid. It's not. Are even there really, any, it's not even really bobbing up and down. Are there any like palm sized stones or anything that I could find nearby? You could probably scoop up some of that uh, cave algae. <laughs> I'm looking specifically for a stone. Some to sink. Make a perception <laughs> check. Would my passive perception of 19 get me there? Sure. You grab a stone. All right. I'm going to try and skip this rock over that placid water. Okay. Uh, That'd be sleight of hand or... Sure. Let's go for sleight of hand. Yeah, it's a... Watch out! 24. Tonk, come Ooh. back. Tonk's too curious. <laughs> Tonk and not used to the situation. Sure. Yes, you, you skip the stone. It goes... Psh, 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 psh. Off into the distance, you got a pretty good spin on that thing, and uh, it seems to have gone pretty far. Hey, that was pretty but, good. Thank you. But nothing seemed to react to it. Didn't seem to. Mm. All right. Uh, Estic. Yeah. You turn around, and a bullfrog is offered to you. Hold this. <sighs> It'll keep oh. you safe. It is He's gonna like to reach out. And very reverently, very gently wrap hands around the frog. And he will take the frog from you, turn it around, and stare into its eyes for a good minute before tucking it under his arm and continuing that is, on. That is Gherkin. He will keep you safe. And I will keep him safe. Come, Gherkin! For glory! Uh... I'm so scared to move forward. I know. But Tonk's over there, and they're fine, so we should be fine. Right? That's how D&D &D works. Tonk uh, yeah. notices this chasm, 
Uh, is this a river going into a different cavern on the left, or just the broken passageway? It is just the broken passageway. Okay. As quietly as humanly possible. Wait, you're a human? As bug as barely bug possible. Barely <laughs> possible. Uh, as sneakily as possible. Tonga's gonna try and just leap this thing. See how okay. deftly and safely it can cross. Roll athletics first. Up oh, and there. Twenty-one. There they go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and now roll stealth. So just. Okay. Twenty. So just don't even hear as it's like all of a sudden a neuro is just on the other side. Or uh, not a neuro. Maybe. Tonk. Maybe. Yeah, depending like, on huh. what you're, so says. Ste- you're, you're so stealthy you t- you turned into a neuro. <laughs> Somebody else over there. <laughs> Substitution yeah, sure jitsu. Enough, yeah, sure enough you managed to bound over the uh, bound over this chasm. Ooh. That's a nice oh. jump. Wait, wait. Don't think I'll be making that one. Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to walk up to Ritzel. What if I throw you? I look at the I look at the water. <laughs> I look up at Tonk. I look over at uh Estic. I look back at Jezebel. Um, that, there's an odd question. How much does the donkey weigh? To uh, donkey I, a donkey? Donkey weighs approximately like, like somewhere two? between like uh, so, somewhere between like four and five hundred pounds, I think. Yeah. Pretty it's heavy. Hefty. Yeah. Hefty creature. Has a carrying capacity of four hundred twenty pounds. Nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. I think I think I got a better idea, Estic. Uh I'm gonna pull out my rope because rope is good in D and D. Tonk, you think you can grab this? Tonk nods quickly. Uh, I will attempt Connor to. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. T- I'm just gonna do a quick knot at one end to give it a little bit of weight, uh, and then try to chuck the rope. Over, I think. Yeah, I'll have enough. I'll have enough slack. Uh, to, for them to try it for a uh, tonk to try and grab it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I need if I need to roll anything. Uh, just roll a athletics check. Uh, I'm not good at those. I'm not strong. Ah, uh, sixteen's not bad. Sure. I yeah, You you managed to toss the rope over to tonk. Catches it. All right, let's do this systematically. Tonk, when we jump, one by one, you pull and help us get over. And if we fall in, just help pull us up. I will do this. All right. Since this was my big brain idea, I guess I'll go first. So um, wait, what are you? What are you attempting to do? So what's gonna? What I'm trying to do? I'm gonna have the rope, and I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it pretty taut so when i try to make the jump um I'm gonna tonk, tonk will, yeah tonk will pull to try and help action and Wait, so are you are you tying the rope like around your waist i'm i no, i'm basically like looping it around my arms so you're just holding it yeah yeah but i'm i'm and i'm, I'm gonna I'm, like yank forward as uh as griggle jumps forward so that it like I continue the movement to try and pull you for towards me. Basically, it's it's to try to apply help, and then if I botch the roll for whatever reason, um, there's something like talking pull me up by something. Yeah. Safety is the name of the game. Yep. Will that will Connor? Do you approve? Sure. 
cool. <laughs> you make me That's so always nervous, dangerous. Connor. Yeah, when the DM sure? just goes, yeah. sure. Well, I mean, like, oh no, <laughs> it's this idea. Um, I will give myself guidance. Um, there, I can't think. Well, no, no. This this armor doesn't give me disadvantage with stealth. Uh, so Thank yeah, me. I'm very stealthy. So athletics, Connor. Sure. Yeah, roll me athletics. Is there anything else I could roll, or is this just it? Uh, I mean, it's it's just like a feat of strength. So like, okay. Use your athleticism. Okay. I didn't know if um. It would be with advantage because I'm helping though, right? right? Right. I just I just wasn't sure if um. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the I didn't. I was so nervous. I I wasn't sure if acrobatics could be applied to this. I mean, it could. I mean, you could you could also I mean, use your balance like if you, you wanted to. I would I would I would appreciate that because I actually athletics have plus or values acrobatics. Yeah, go for Thank it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no so. Problem. Boom. Ooh. Boom. Let me get the plus four. Or the the, the, the D four. Go. The plus four. Twenty-four. Oh Hot <laughs> damn. Yeah, you sure as shit managed to uh leap and bound and acrobatic your way over to Tonk's side. We I appreciate the idea behind this, but what exactly is on that side that we're leaping towards? Uh, I will turn around and uh, perceive if allowed. Just don't want to have to drag, you know, my sorry ass over there. Points back at Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> and if we have to turn around, drag her all the way back this way. I mean, I could probably carry her. I have no doubt of that. I, 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 pat, I pat you on the side again. Uh, give me one second. Wait. Whoa. Do a backflip, bro. Huh? Will that work? Ah, maybe. Let's find out. Can I just... No? Huh. Oh. I can't just okay. I'll I'll get it. So, um as you cross, uh Griggle, why don't you go ahead and make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, oh no. boy. As uh from out of the water, you see the seaweed begin to sort of congeal oh, and no. group together. No, into what appears to be some sort of almost horse-like thing. What? I mean, oh. come on, come on, y'all. We're in a dungeon. I, I don't know what you expect. Not oh monsters. Oh, Connor, is, I, Connor, wait, is it a seahorse? No. <laughs> Theoretically <laughs> speaking. I mean, yeah. What? What? What class? Twenty-five, by the way. way. Although I could use its token, because it's not wanting to let me use it. Here we uh, go. It is a seahorse. Oh my gosh! It's you a lied to us. I knew it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh hey, no, they're not seahorses. These are placeholders. Oh. Connor twenty-three. Seahorses. You succeed. There we go. As whatever influence these two strange creatures are trying to exert over you appears to break down. Oh, uh, and as both of them rise out of the murky volcanic water, that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, oh boy! boy. Yeah. Oh, All, right. Boy. All right, bye, Austin. God damn it. Bye. Bye, bye Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Take it bye, Austin. I can't Ooh. believe we discovered war seahorses. Death by Seahorses, I was right. I'm going to have to figure out how to upload custom tokens before next oh, time. Oh, is it not letting you upload? Yeah. Uh, I'm coming for you, so chat. You'll have to face off against the Kelpies next time. Kelpies! Hey. Kelpies! Yep. Goody.
Hashtag Team Kelpie. Wait, no, that's not. That's against us. Never mind. It's called Among Us. What? Oh, Among oh, Us. Boom. The fitness grand. I didn't, I didn't realize that a game came out just a couple of days ago that's literally Among Goose. Like it's oh. just it's it's Among Us, but with geese and ducks, and they have like more game modes, and it actually looks really cute. Oh, wow. I would have make it like like Goose Game and Among Us. I, I figured they would have gone for a uh, mongoose. Oh, game. that's a good one too. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like they just did like it's uh, it, it already like apes the play style of Among Us like super hard. So I, I I'm guessing they just didn't call it a mongoose specifically for like you know not to put the nail that hard on the head. Right. Indeed. Good shit though. Yeah. yeah, man, this yeah, was a I'm great. Well, how we're gonna do we'll this pick fight. this up next week, where combat starts. I'm not oh sure. Boy, if oh boy, oh boy, has a swim speed, so I don't know how we're gonna do this fight. I'm scared. That's all right. There, 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 we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. You don't have to burn worry it. about Whoa. it immediately. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad they didn't make like try to get Jezebel to make a wisdom save. I don't think she's oh the god. wisest ass. Oh my god. Yet. Oh. We're gonna have to turn uh, Caitlin, on Where Jezebel. can they find you? Oh, I'm all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's because Twitch doesn't like boobs. Um, I know, it's crazy. I don't believe uh, things that are happening right now i'm working on uh kageki shoujo so if you want to check that out it's coming out every the dub is coming out every saturday on funimation um and i have a couple other things that are going to pop up real soon so go follow me up boobs mcballrog on pretty much any social platform and i'll have fun news to share very soon that's it for me Woo. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Ay, ay, ay. Da, da, da. Chat, Gaijin chat. Goomba, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me everywhere at Gaijin Goomba, sometimes with an H, sometimes not. Here on Twitch, it's not, because you stole it, Connor. Um, Lol. I stream every ah. Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, trying to wrap up Skulls the Shogun, because it's the only strategy game I'm good at. Uh, though, you know, Metroid Dread comes out on Friday, so I believe Saturday and Sunday, that is what I will be streaming. Oh, um, over at my, uh, over, at, over at the Gaijin Perspective channel, I am putting together this nice little personal documentary over The Last Samurai, because though people have been ripping it apart over the last 20 years, yes, it's been around for just about that long, there's one thing that makes it miraculous as a movie that no one's really talked about, and that's how it depicts multicultural communication. Uh, particularly between the U.S. and Japan. Check that out if that sounds interesting. On that, I am working on a new uh, Culture Shock slash Yokai Hunters video breaking down the actual origins of uh, Fate's Shuten Doji because I promise you he was not a, a small lolly. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, working on I mean, that. That's and just speaking... like your opinion, man. No, it's I true. <laughs> it's <know>. true, Mark. <laughs> Fight me. They made um, King Arthur a woman, okay? It's, it, it, it happened. Everyone's a woman in that game, and half the time they're fucking thick. So, anywho. Um, uh, after, uh, blah, 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 blah. Go on, what was this show? <laughs> <laughs> fate, f fate Go Online. <laughs> well, it's, it's the Fate series in general. The Fate, yeah. Right. Uh, look up Daiko, Jesus. Um, oh, what, was I, what was I yammering on about? Uh, oh, yeah, the Oni race. Speaking of Oni... Uh, I am still working on that. I need to find artists to film the art, and I need to do the historical fluff behind it and the in-game stuff behind it, and then it will be done. And that is me. Woo. All right. Lady Bajor, we're going to find you. What are you up to? Well, when I'm not pining for thick women, uh, <laughs> you can find me. <laughs> Wait, when is that? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, you can find bro. Me all I can over drink. You can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator. Except Instagram where it's Lan1Gram if you want to watch me 
do gym selfies and stuff. I don't know if there's an audience for that. Uh, I'm going to start playing Alan Wake probably starting on Sunday. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing through spookiness. Uh, beyond that, if you're not all D&D'd out over here on Mondays at 5 o'clock central time on twitch.tv slash landypator, I'm running a campaign I call The Ties That Bind, where uh, Connor, Caitlin, as well as our good buddy, Shadow Dancer Bob, join us. Uh, shit's going crazy right now. They're stuck in a future with events that they could not stop from happening, but events that they put into motion. So, uh, kind of reaping those consequences and trying to set the world right and maybe try to find a way to get back, back to the past. Samurai Jack, that's me. Mark, where can they find you, and what are you up? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat, sleepy cat bunny over on Instagram at chonk for life That's C-H-O-N-K, the number four, L-I-F-E. I am actually going to stream tomorrow, despite my better judgment. It may be a little, uh, little later in the evening than usual. But for those who were following my adventures on Monday, when Facebook went down, I was picking up, uh, or supposed to pick up, some special Pokemon Center editions of the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes. Unfortunately, Facebook was down, which meant the Facebook Marketplace was down, and the Facebook Messenger service was down. So I couldn't contact the person I was buying from. Oh, but no. we have since made contact. I am buying those tomorrow. So tomorrow, we'll be opening up those Pokemon Center versions of the Elite Trainer Boxes. Still forever on the hunt for Sylveon. Every Sylveon card ever made, that's the goal. We'll get there someday. But now they keep releasing new ones, so who knows? Who knows? Either way, that's what's going on tomorrow. On Saturday, a new episode of... Uh, excuse me, I'm dying. A new episode of Remain, uh, an anime about water polo boys, uh, should be going up in English on Funimation. I play Jojo Jima in this series. Please check it out. A lot of fun, a lot of heart, a lot of gremlin energy. So, a lot of fun. Check it out. Uh, other than that, that's all I got. Oh, Saturday also, uh, Ravenloft here on this channel. So, yeah. uh, come on back. Uh, explore explore the next chapter in the story of Ravenloft. Will Y. Hakeda die? Will she eat the, the party? Who knows? But we'll have a fun time either way. Alrighty, yes. Thero, where can they find you, and what are you up to? They can find me over at um, therapod underscore art, twitter.com. That's where I post all my art and like stream updates, pictures of my pet lizard beanbag, and, and all, all, all assortment of, of shit. Um, I also stream name. over... I stream over at twitch.tv, therapod art, no underscore there. There, you just watch me do my streaming process. Pretty pretty chill streams not not super high energy although sometimes i tend to get a little all over the place but yeah that's that's what i got going on just just art and just being a little little cheese goblin yeah excellent you can find me on twitter twitch and youtube.com slash distortion devil where i stream tuesdays fridays saturdays and sundays playing some tabletop gamers with my buddies Hey Mr. Rabbit and Count Widget. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a bunch of fun party games with my friends. Saturday I'm playing through Yakuza 5 Remastered. And Sunday I'm playing Wildermyth. Also be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, an action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. Check it out, this link is going to be posted in the chat right here right now. And also check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition subclasses, including the Accursed Fighter, uh, sort of a Dark Souls-y, Berserky themed subclass for the fighter. And Hell also yeah. the Pact of the Fanged King Warlock Patron, uh, which will be coming out sometime during October for the Spooky Month. Um, that's all I got for me, and I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's festivities die hard dice die oh. hard dice i put them back in the bag indeed 
Yes, I, I was utilizing some diehard dice for this evening's escapades. The diehard dice has all sorts of fantastic polymer, metal, and now uh, glow in the dark black light dice uh, oh, that wow. are fantastic yeah. uh, for your next 90s themed campaign. Uh, they also sell uh, black light for your dice tray to keep your dice uh, glowing throughout the entire night, which like I think is super cool. Uh, so go ahead and check that out at dieharddice.com for all your dice and dice accessories. Uh, use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point to get 10% off your order. And if someone wants to edit that Nightbot command with the correct code. Just unexpectables, not the. Unex yeah, unexpectables, exclamation point. We will fix that soon. <laughs> Post haste. Forthwith. Forthwith and forsooth. And with that out of the way, send a real awesome business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pixel Bell, thank you for the 30 bits. Uh, stop. Wait, no. Um, where was it? It was here somewhere. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, cool, a bugbear monk. Uh, monk. Uh oh. What's, what's wrong with monks? I have no idea. It's Tonk the Monk. What are you talking about? E Tonk the Monk. Tonk the uh, Monk with the bonk. Scat flips up. Thank you for the eight months of Prime. Uh, Gobtober starting off strong. Oh, what? Why are these from all the way back? Uh, oh, no. Because we're time travelers. Big Peace Pipe. Thank you for the 100 bits. No, wait. Volk551. Thank you for the bits. Yes. The fig wasp, the only animal that can pollinate figs. Brian Merrill, thank you for the 25 bits. As someone who suffered uh, dengue before, no. Damn mosquitoes to hell. I don't know what that means. We were talking about bugs. Mosquitoes, specifically. Yeah, I don't know what dengue is, though. Oh, it sounds no like idea. a yucky thing that mosquitoes can give you. Dengue fever, I think. I want hey, no, the code is. Yeah, unexpectables with an exclamation point. Unexpectables, no not the. Unexpectable. Uh. Zen Lee, the thing for the 200 bits. It's a beautiful day aboard the Skell, and you are a horrible goof. Really is jaunty. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Dungeon Run. Thank you for the raid of 85 there in the middle there. Ooh. Hey! Okay. How's it going, the Dungeon Run? Good to have you with us. And... La, 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 la. Fantastic Callum. Thank you for the 100 bits. I like the party so far. We've got a frog goblin, a chad, a bug monk, a, the <laughs> penguin, and Gobi Kage. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Gob Kage. For a goblin. Gobi Kage. Oh, I just, I joke, I just, but, I've never I joke, been described as a be chad a, before, and I feel so honored. This is going to be a fun series. And then the additional 100 bits. If you date a dinosaur, but then break up with them, do they come your T Rex? Tyrannosaurus uh, X. <laughs> I feel like I can hear Zito screaming, so I'll allow it. But I'm Bergen. also. Whatever, when can man. you not hear Zito screaming? <laughs> I, I, I like to claim that I'm a loud person. That man can outshout me. It's He's true. got some big boy lungs for sure. I can hear him all the way over here. It's that East Coast energy. 
<laughs> Jerkin247, thank you for the 100 bets. How do you know that Isaac Newton liked big girls? He once wrote the greater mass for the greater attraction. Uh, sure. Thank okay. you for the 100 bits. Well, okay. <laughs> Applied some thank you for the 100 bits. When I bought from Die Hard Dice, I left a thank you message to Diana. Also, it's applied thanatology, as in the study of death. Ah. Mm. Yep. I got that. Not the study of the character from Hades. Mm. Thanatos. I mean, he, I mean he's the Eridor. aspect of death. Yeah. Indeed. Jin T13, thank you for the 109 bits. Tatsuma Fortuna, thank you for the 14 months. And fantastic <laughs> column. Uh huh. What? What? Tatsuma Fortuna is great. What, what does that mean? It's just good. Okay. I see. Fantastic column, thank you for the 100 bits. What do you get when you cross a vampire with another vampire? Dead vampires. Oh. I get it. Oh, when, that, you, when that, you cross them. <laughs> Daywalker smiles. Zeon the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 40 bits. Thank you for the wonderful time while I was working during a rush. Shout out to the Monk Hobgoblin, or not, yeah, Monk Bugbear. They're, they're pretty scary during higher levels. And with that... We gotta find somebody to raid. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I see. Um. I see Colonel Sheru. I see Trash Ooh. King. I also see Rabbit. I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, Rabbit is on. Rabbit is wise. They're playing Seven Days. I've started the cult. They're both mm -hmm. playing. Rabbit and Sheru are playing. I wonder if they're playing seven together. Oh, they, they are. Maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. Yep. Should, yeah. we, should we pick? There's a lot of people on. Like, yeah, well, Cheru's, got, Cheru's got less viewers, and we haven't rated mm -hmm. Cheru in a while, so let's go ahead and rate Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, yeah. let's, get, let's get Cheru. Yeah. Give Cheru some love. Give some Cherish to Cheru. Yeah. Uh, our rate message will be, here there be goblins. Here there True. be goblins. It's more likely than you think. Oh. All right. <laughs> we will see you Saturday for Ravenloft. And then yeah. right here, same time, same channel for more Gobtober White Plains Mountain. Take care, yeah. everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good night. Have a good night.